Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let me know if you can hear me. Go ahead. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Did you test? I okay, all right. Let us know. Test. Yeah, is that too loud? Okay. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with this one. and misogyny happy new year everyone uh this of course is the second show uh, of the new year <clears throat> i did my very first live stream of the new year um just after midnight i think it was like 12 30 or something like that 
It is Monday, January 3rd of 2022. It is good to have you guys in today. As always, we are streaming live to multiple platforms. MGTOW.TV, Blankosphere.TV, YouTube, and of course, in crystal clear, high-resolution 4K to sharp stream, which is where I stream all of my premium content for free for now on the app, which can be downloaded for Android or iOS at sharpstream.com. So however you are watching, wherever you're watching from, thank you for making the Sharp Reality Live a part of your daily routine. Guys, be sure to get your hands on my new free ebook, 14 Questions She'll Ask on the First Date and How to Correctly Respond. All you need to do is go to donovansharp.com slash newsletter, put in your very best email, and the book is yours. The book is also packed with dozens, uh, well, not dozens. It's packed with coupons, discounts on courses, et cetera, et cetera. So be sure to get your hands on on my newest free ebook, 14 questions she'll ask on the first date and how to correctly respond at donovansharp.com slash newsletter. Guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. When you subscribe, do like it does on the screen, go to the bell, click on all. If you go to the bell and click on all, you'll be notified every time I go live on YouTube. Now, if you want a, if you want a, a reliable backup, there are actually a couple of ways that you can supplement this. You can either download the SharpStream app and enable all notifications, and, and or you can go to sharpstream.com and enable desktop notifications. That, of course, was set up by the lovely and talented Devin, but it starts with hitting the bell on YouTube, going down to all, <clears throat> pardon me, going down to all, and uh, and clicking that bell. Guys, be sure to sign up for Patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. You get access to past shows, the archive, all the way from episode one. Sharp Shorts, Ask Donovan Q&A, weekly Sunday Zoom calls. Videos banned from multiple platforms, access to Sharp Stream. Huge discounts on courses. Go to Patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Uh, Bobby on the YouTube side says, uh, what was that new HD site you mentioned, please, sir? Yeah, that was SharpStream.com. That is my own personal private platform. Um, when and if they ever find out, figure out how to uh, delete everything uh, that I have on the internet, uh, that is where you will head. That is where you will head to uh, be able to watch and consume my content. I am joined, as always, by the lovely and talented Devin. Now, I would ask how you're doing, but you're feeling pretty shitty. Yeah. We had our first snow today, so my allergies are nuts. Uh, yeah, that's the reason why she's not on camera, because you look like death. Well, no, you don't look like death, Thank actually. You. Well, you did earlier. I appreciate that. <laughs> Listen, she looked like death earlier. She doesn't She doesn't really look like death. She looks like she's on life support. Uh, <laughs> but uh, because of that, we're going to wait till Wednesday to show her on camera um, just to uh, just to quiet down all the haters. We don't want to give the haters any uh, any more ammunition. Yeah, all, right, all right. Okay, very good. Um <clears throat> Let's see, there was one more thing I wanted to mention, and I will probably remember when. <laughs> I'll probably remember after the show. Um, thank you guys very much uh, for tuning in today. Oh, yes. Um, for those of you just joining, um, I've got a whole new lineup of shows. Um, I've got a whole new lineup of shows uh, with the ladies on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, um, I will have, I'll be joined by Janelle Gordon for That's What She Said. Janelle Gordon and I will be breaking down part one of the Kevin Samuels live interviews with the ladies in Miami. That should be very, very interesting. On Thursdays, Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock British time, actually 9 a.m. Eastern, 3 o'clock across the pond, I am joined for Tea with Tallulah where we discuss dating and relationships from an RP standpoint. We might also watch uh, part two of the Kevin Samuels video later that day. Later that day at one o'clock Eastern, I am joined by Ali V for make me a sandwich. Make me a sandwich. That's what we actually decided to call the show was make me a sandwich. Uh, and then, of course, on uh, the 13th of this month, I will be joined by uh, Pearl Davis of Just Pearly Things. Hopefully, 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 uh, she knocks it out of the park on camera, and then I can assemble the female version of the six. Dev, what do you think about... Ugh, I had a booger in my nose. What do you think about the female version of the would six? What like are your... Tissue? Yeah, I would. 
What do you think about the female version of the six? It's like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a cool idea. Okay. It'll be fun to see how the females bounce off each other when they're actually agreeing on something that they're not used to agreeing with other females on. Yes. That should be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be interesting, you know. Like, as we see, like, on podcasts like Fresh and Fit, um, you know, the women tend to be hive-minded. So everyone's on one side until one person jumps over. Yeah. And then they, one by one, they all start jumping over to the other side because they realize it's okay to yeah. actually say what you think. Yes, yes. Um, so it's it'll be fun to get the other perspective, of course. You know, guys want to know how to improve their lives and relationships, and that's mm -hmm. really what the end goal is, is mm -hmm. for better relationships across the board for mm -hmm. men and women. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of times, you know, especially the manosphere, we, we don't really care what women say. We right. Bitches ain't they, shit! Right. We care what they do. But in this case, a lot of these women are doing the right things. That's right. So, you know, maybe there's something that, you know, the guys can gleam from either identifying a woman who actually does want to be in a quality mm -hmm. relationship or one who's just there to waste his time versus, um, you know, hey, here's how I here's how to identify one. Here's how to spot a faker. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, so it goes both ways. It's it should, it should be interesting. I think the end goal ultimately for all of these ladies is to, to help people. Not only help people, we want to help women. Um, we are um, obviously this is a men's channel, uh, but uh, in order to grow, you got to have female viewers. Uh, fe you know, women make up, I think, 67% of the market share in terms of buying things. And uh, listen, man, Kevin Samuels blew up because he has women on his platform. Fresh and Fit blew up because they have women on their platform. Now, the now the difference here is that this is going to be a non a non adversarial uh, uh, interaction between me and you and the ladies. Well, you've never been adversarial on your show. I would never describe it as that. I've never been adverse. Oh well, I mean, I mean, as far as like Kevin and Meyer are concerned, though, because oftentimes they're, dude, most all, almost all the women disagree with what we talk about here, and it's it's a very, you know, it's a very. I mean, listen, all the girls on Meyer, you know, most of them always disagree on everything, but or at least you know on on manosphere topics. Right. It's usually not all women are like that. I'm mm -hmm. not like that. I'm different. Whereas this is more of a. All women are like that, and here's why, you know. Or <laughs> here's or how all, to tell when she's saying when she when she's you know or trying all, to camouflage herself. Well, all women are like that, but that's not a bad thing, no. right? It's just it's it's a programming thing. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, yep, yeah, um, we have some great great new content uh, coming up for you guys, uh, but um, we're not gonna waste any more time. It's time to get. Listen, man, we're not doing the undercards today. We're not doing undercards today. We're not going to do an opening uh, comedian act. Uh, by the way, Burt Kreischer was unbelievable that on was New Year's fun. Eve. That was crazy. That yeah, was really good. Yeah, was a good time. Um, we are going to get right to the Fresh and Fit video. And when I tell you, uh, now, Dev, you have not seen or heard this Fresh and Fit video. I have not. No. I did this. I did this on purpose to get Devin's organic response <laughs> because this woman. This is probably, this woman was even more insufferable than Red, who I'm almost 100% sure was a plant. Um, this woman is so, I, I can't even describe it. Let's just go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get uh, right into it and start the breakdown. Here we go. I just say that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I know, exactly. As a girl. As a matter. No, I, I actually, I will, I will even call here's saying, you gotta understand. Bobby, can I please? I'm, a, I'm such a good girl. If you're going to really deal with a dominant man, man, he's going to be dominant all, all the time. So oh God, it's yes. not like he's going to pick and choose when he's going to be assertive and not be assertive. It's like that's the way he is all the time. You want a guy to control you. Want to, basically what you want is you want a guy to be to pick and choose when he's controlling with you. And it's not about him being controlling. It's about he's in control. Simply put, ladies, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you want to be uh, free and do what you want to do and Only go out with your friends and do what you want to do. Uh-oh. Only men can have the cake and eat it too. Uh-oh. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, go out with your friends and do what you want to do. I'm sorry. Right. Only men oh, yes. can have right. the cake and eat it That's, too. I don't think they want to control. They want to keep you, but like they and then can they have can go that out and, and they can go hang out with their that friends. Absolutely he gets to come true. here with all these girls every single day, can but I his girl better point? not go. Right. Can I finish my point. Yeah. Uh, See, this what? is funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So already she's she's already dropped the c word. They want to control. You can go out, but we can't. I've made it clear to you. You can do whatever it is you want to do. 
if you want to go to the club, you can go to the club. If you want to be on social media, you can be on social media. But if you engage in these activities, then you and I no longer have a relationship. No, what this woman is saying is that men like Myron, we want to control women. We want to keep you in a cage to just sit there and, and wait for us while we're out banging other chicks. Yeah, um, and I'm sure that he's has enough control to stay in bed when someone breaks in the house and send her, but there out there, you know? There you go. I, that's I, exactly that's right. That's just picking and choosing yep. exactly how you want. Oh, well, all the limitations are on her, but he has all the freedom. Oh, really? Like, he's not working 16 hours a day? Not only that, uh, what was what was life like 10 years ago for her? Like, this woman is probably close to 30. Uh, so when she was 20 years old, she had all she had all the freedom in the world. See, women get to have their cake and eat it, too, when they're young and hot. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so they don't like it when men... See, women have to preserve value. We as men, we have to build it. Women have no... And it's never young and or attractive women who have a problem with men being able to exercise options when we, when we get older, we make more money. No, it's when they get fat or they get old or they have a bunch of kids. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem that men want to have their, their cake and eat it too. Okay. Men and women are not the same, number one. Uh, a man that can have sex with a lot of women brings value. A woman that has sex with a lot of men it loses value. What's the first thing you notice about this chick? She just looks like... Uh, she's shaped like an egg. Yeah, she's... Uh, she looks she's, like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> yes. She's supersized. She's supersized. Let's go ahead and come up with three qualifications. It's interesting. We can almost put every woman in this box. Every woman with this attitude, the super feminist misandrous attitude, they are either grossly overweight, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, they are really, really old, or they're grossly overweight, they have hit the wall, or they have children, and what all of those, what all three of those things have in common is that they no longer have their pick of the highest value guys. When girls are young and hot, they can date fuck anybody they want. But when they get to a certain point where they can't, now all of a sudden it's a problem. She she has no muscle tone in her body whatsoever. No, 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 she doesn't. She is. She's, I don't know, she kind of looks like Amy Schumer's younger sister. She's the reason why shoulder pads were invented. Oh, my God. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> it's just the way it's been since the beginning of time. You guys can get mad at me, but this is the truth. Ooh, I think that, that hoes, like, have proved that wrong. A hoes make a lot more than guys that fuck girls and pay them. What is she talking about? She's equating value with Oh, income. with, oh, that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah. This woman just put a monetary value on a hose. And look at her body language when she talks about this. What she does this so smugly and so condescendingly as if she just knows she's right. Just watch. That wrong. A hose make a lot more than guys that fuck girls and pay them. What? Um, yeah, like that's I mean most Miami hoes. <laughs> I know Miami hoes, dude. These girls make fucking money. Are you kidding me money is i think not... he meant what the value he in a value woman like as yeah. a person as yeah. a, as like a person. the woman's <laughs> the value oh yeah look who looks stupid now does this woman not look dumb as fuck right now oh <laughs> <my> <laughs> not what? only that she's just calling all these women hoes yes i know miami <laughs> hoes blah 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 <laughs> Jesus. Albert Choice, five dollars says showing my respect to the don stay blush appreciate that black wolf Inc. five dollars says fam i wish you were there live because that chick was so insufferable the other uh, even the other women had to check her regularly. The RP posture, pardon me, is... It's over 9,000! That was... Vegeta was a little behind on that. Yes, yes, absolutely. Lorenzo Rock says Large Marge, going way back to Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, you remember yeah, that? I do, I Just do. Just tell him Large Marge sent you. Her ability to seek a, a partner... Oh, look, look who's silent now. Like, is you can't turn a upon into her a past. housewife. So or you can she say just that. has multiple partners, and that is her. It's not that. What the thing is. So now she's talking about a woman having multiple partners, as if that's a good thing, number one. Number two, as if a woman having multiple partners means that she is high value. What's wrong with that logic? I don't I don't understand it. I, I kind of lost what her logic was there. Can you rewind it a little bit? I'm sorry. Let's try to pay attention. I am. Like yeah. Listen. Pay attention. Person, person as, yeah. a, as like a person. Like the woman's the value, value of her you. Her ability to seek a, a partner like is you heavily can't turn contingent a upon her past. Housewife. So or you can say that. she just has multiple partners, and 
that is her. It's not that. What See, what she's trying to say is that the hoe, she, the girl says you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, right? But then um, we need to come up with a name for her. Uh, supersized Karen. Cheryl. No, she's a supersized Karen. I don't think she's. I don't think she's just Cheryl. I don't know what her name is. I don't care. She's supersized Karen. Karen. Okay. Um, so supersized Karen the comes. The SS Karen. Yes, the SS. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> so the SS Karen <laughs> comes in and says, "Okay, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but what if th that hoe has multiple partners? So that gives the hoe the win." That's what oh she's well, then <laughs> she's. On top of the world. Yeah, yeah. Listen, she wins, right? <laughs> no Titanic joke, really. Jesus, SS. Oh my God, I told I I missed that. She's here all week, guys. She's here all week. But the I, thing I, is I, about um how a guy looks as a hoe compared to a woman that doesn't even have that type of label on her. The problem is, is that with a hoe, she has a past of fucking different niggas. She probably has a past of certain certain type of uh men. Now this woman right here. Uh, Dev, she's mm -hmm. not insufferable, but she's really masculine. Her voice is dark. Her voice is deeper than mine. It, uh, she, she it, later on in the show, she'll say that she requires an eight-inch member to even be interested, and the guy has to work in the adult film industry. Oh. So you can tell she's been wow. ran through. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This 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 woman is absolutely she's okay. she's blown out. She's absolutely blown out. You can tell she has like she's beyond the the, the thousand block stare. Wow. Yeah, she has no like she has literally had have had the soul like plowed out of her mm. you can tell. status and stuff like that that have a reputation for fucking so many different hoes at that and then not only that you lower your chances of being with certain people if people really know about your past like that mm. just because you look like a person that doesn't respect yourself and you just you're living life you just look like a loose cannon type there shit. it is and and unfortunately you're using a male metric this is funny so um <laughs> she actually just dropped some knowledge there can't look like a hoe and expect to be treated like a lady mm -hmm. of success Men are measured on what they create and how much money they earn in their status. Women are not. You're measured on your past, your chastity, your beauty, uh -oh. your youth, uh -oh. etc. Beauty is a woman's commodity. Success is a man's commodity. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Now, but if you want to sit here, but girls can have success too, and just you know. But here's the thing, though. They <laughs> Look at her. Girls can have success too, and you know. Well, of course they can. They can have sex. They mm -hmm. can have six. Excuse me, success. Mm -hmm. They can have ten thousand. Uh, male partners mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. in a room in a line, and a lot of them do. And a lot <laughs> I of mean, them do. they can have whatever they want. That's not going to make them happy. And that's the point. Um, this woman, the SS Karen, she keeps trying to. Whenever she makes a point, she she has this smug look on her face, yeah. as though she just dropped the big joker. Yeah. Well, when I say the big joker, that means like she won spades. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just making sure because yeah, sometimes like you need the white girl. There you go. Okay, I was just making okay. sure because I had to. I had to translate some. I had to translate some. <laughs> some, uh, some I, do, I do appreciate that. Okay, yes, but but she's like, aha, yeah, but, but, but she can have success too. This woman is clearly clueless. Why? She's why? not. She's not even paying attention to what he's saying. No, she's not. You can see. You can see her eyes trailing off as he's talking, just trying to think of an argument for one thing he says out of context. Yeah. That's it. A woman's success <laughs> is not a, a woman's success is not critical to her ability to find a mate, whereas a man's success no. is critical to him finding a mate. Honestly, I think that's changing <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. Like, if any, yeah. Yeah. you have all these women that have these businesses, and we are actually trying to like, oh. anything. we are now the ones supporting the men. You know, like, whoa, we are now the one supporting the men. Sweetheart, if you're supporting a man, you are choosing the wrong men. I mean, is that, you know. These poor young girls, like, they're really trying to create their own reality, thinking, like, this is what they want. But it's it's a really sad state of affairs that they think that this is this is the road to happiness. You would think that the generation before them and the generation before them said, hey, 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 you know, these stereotypes exist for a reason. You know, roles in relationships exist for a reason. Right. You don't You don't want to... Be supporting. It's one thing to support a man through a tough time. Yes. It's another thing to support him as a lifestyle, and that's a lifestyle that you willingly go into and engage in, and then expect it to be prosperous for 20, 30 years. Right. Right. No, I I agree completely. Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Somebody in the oh, uh, King Life on the Sharp Stream side. Just I just saw it. I literally just saw it. Ah, I'm sorry. Hellfung on the sharp stream side put in a gif of Miss Piggy. Yeah, I think that um, I think that's probably that that's apt. Um, I like SS Karen. Isn't that the isn't that the uh, isn't that Brittany? What's her face? The uh, 
She looks like Casey Anthony. She probably does. All right, let's continue. Okay. Yo, all my Honestly, life, women same. Been supporting literally, men, I've, I've supported okay. almost That's literally fantastic. all of my That's men. That's fantastic. I have supported literally all of my men. So that tells us everything we need to know about the choice that she makes in men. It does. Yes. I mean, if she's single now. <laughs> <laughs> All these women are single. I don't oh, think really? any of them are in really. Yeah, oh, one is in boy. a situation ship, but yeah. But are you with those men now? No. No, because so the point, a little boy. Okay. Exactly. Oh, there we go. Do you see that? She's speaking out of both sides of her mouth. Well, I had to be a boss bitch, and I had to support my men. My earned checks are, but are you with those men now? No, because they're little boys. Okay, well, then there you go. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, women want to have it both ways. They want to be the boss bitch, and I can do this, but that's not really what and they want. And they're probably deliberately choosing men who don't have it together so that they don't have to compromise anything on their end. Would you like to know why? Why? Look at her. This chick has tattoos. Th this chick has... She's a good-looking girl, but this yeah. chick has tattoos. She's got the thousand block stare already. You can literally see her breasts. Right. You can literally see her yeah, breasts. Yeah, her tattoos have leave something to be desired. Yeah, listen, man. The, 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 this is a woman... Unfortunately, even at this young age, she knows she's not shit. That's why she keeps committing to men that she has to financially uh, support. That's just all there is to it. She can blame it on the little boys all she wants to, but when it comes down to it, this woman, as as bubbly as she is, she does not qualify. She doesn't qualify. Exactly. exactly. So it proves my point even further that men are measured on what they create, their income they have, and their status. Women are measured on their beauty. How, you guys live here in Miami. How many dumb bimbos do you know that get invited to celebrity parties and or are dating guys that are way above them? Trick question. That's yes. Socioeconomically, status-wise, there's a bunch. Mm -hmm. You could be a girl, 21 years old, no accomplishments, get invited to a party with Future and Gunna and everything. He was there. Whereas as a man, you have to become a somebody to get invited to these parties. Men and women are not the same, and a that's woman's right. value is not based on how much money she earns and her success. If she does, it's fantastic. Jay Blaze 11 on the Sharp Stream side says it's like Sophie's Choice. Good for her. <laughs> but it does not make her sexier to men. There we go. Especially a man that makes a lot of money. See, and this is Myron's point. Um, if there are any ladies watching this, can you tell them that men don't want women who are boss bitches? Yeah, I mean, if she's busy running her company quote unquote or whatever it her is lash business or yeah she's not is. gonna have time to dedicate to her man like her priorities are basically being self she's just a selfish person one of the most feminine qualities a woman can have is kindness grace and anticipating other people's needs yep. if you're too busy doing your own stuff you don't have time to be any of those things no. hell no shout out to randall new to chat privileges at Randall to welcome him to the <clears throat> to uh, to the TSR family. If you would, as we always do, as we always do, make sure you put your age and location in the chat. Let's do an age and location check in the chat. I will call those out later. Let's continue. You're using a male metric of success, which unfortunately that that's great, but it isn't going to make you sexier to the opposite gender. And I would argue, the more money a woman makes the less attractive she becomes to the very men that she's fighting to get in front of. Because you're categorized as independent. Why would she want to get in front to of a honest, man that's really intimidated by how much she makes? That doesn't even make sense. This is so funny. Shh. I'm simply saying. Listen, you can hear one of the girls in the background laughing at this chick because she's she's not even. And it's funny. What you'll, what you'll see here, Dev, is that <laughs> she. Would you want to money. get in front of a. Watch this. Did anybody say anything about being intimidated? No. Okay, so just listen. The more money a woman makes the less attractive she becomes to the very men that she's fighting to get in front of. Because you're categorized as independent. Why would she want to get in front to of be a man honest, that's really intimidated by how much she makes? She, she translated less desirable as intimidating. I mean, if she means intimidating as far as she's concerned, being built like maybe a right tackle, I can understand that. That I could, yeah. Yes. But... Nobody said that they were intimidated. Just, just, just because I'm not attracted to your career does not mean that I'm intimidated by exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. And again, <laughs> what this woman is doing is she, she is literally bringing in arguments just from nowhere. Well, why would, why would he want to get in front of a woman that he's intimidated by? Nobody said anybody is afraid or intimidated by anybody. It's ridiculous. That doesn't even make sense. I'm simply saying... I really don't. This is funny as hell. Watch Meyer. By how much she Watch Myron. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the reason why Myron put his hand on his head is because it's clear to him that she's not listening. She's simply just listening to respond. I'm simply she's saying, the, uh, as a woman, would you want to get in front of a man that doesn't want to talk to you because you make too much money? No. I think I think the women at the table are why? thinking of.
times like now like not like back then like yeah. they're thinking of women now are like, you successful empowered. yourself you seem like you're uh strong and independent and successful correct yeah. you make your own money so would you date a guy that lives with his mom and is not ambitious absolutely not <laughs> okay well there you we want go. a guy at least on your level correct? that's the same thing so why would a guy not want somebody that was successful that's so confusing well, that's the biggest difference between men and women we're very different men do not care about a woman's success level i know, when it comes I know to a lot of men also that actually give a, a fuck about who the people are yeah you see i know a lot of men that that give a fuck about a woman's career really name one sweetheart name one that you know she knows a lot of married men who care about other people's careers because they work with them they're not there going go. just going home to them. Unbelievable. Teddy KGB five dollars says at work getting this game in between patients. Salute. Appreciate that. And I mean, you. Not a, just... a man is literally telling you the honest truth. You, is... you, not to speak for all men. You okay, well, guys in the chat. We here got five thousand y'all in here. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Give hey. me a one in the chat if you do not care about a woman's career. Give me a one in the chat if you do not care about a woman's career, guys. You guys heard the man. Give me a one in the chat if you do not give a fuck about a woman's career. Guys, let's see what they say. We got 5,000 plus guys in here. Here we go. And here we go. Yeah, one, but I also know one, a lot of women that one, one. don't care about a man. So her career they care could about be you. you. They don't care about what you got going on. I know. Oh, this is so funny. Now, this chick in the middle, she wants to come in. Well, I know a lot of women that don't care about what a man's got going on. Because once they care about you, they don't care about what a man's got going on. Um, Stop the cap. Dude, that is all cap. The, yeah, Johnny Green says the I know people argument. The I know people argument is absolutely false. I know, listen, even if they were telling the truth, and let's face it, we know they're not. Even if they were telling the truth, those are the exceptions to the rule. If you know men who are really attracted to women who are career women, those men are not the kinds of women those career women want. That's the first thing. Number two. She does know of a woman who doesn't give a shit about what a man uh, about what a man's got going on. She happens to be sitting to her left because that's the girl who admitted that just about every man she's been with, she's had to financially support. So the white girl in the red dates bum ass niggas. That's who she's talking about. Your thoughts? Okay, so you're just gonna leave me hanging on the air here. Sorry. Like, like you're getting me all these I gestures. I thought you were. I, I thought you were. I can't think as fast. Ay, 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 I'm open ay. to women that you're killing me. Take care of their men. I mean, what if we ask that, take care of their men. This is cute. Her, if maybe if she, if he has a big dick, would you take care of him? Right, I would. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> she says, if he, if he has a big dick, would you take care of him? And yeah. a lot of listen, a lot of girls would. A lot of ain't shit bitches would take care of some big dick ass niggas, but big dick, big dick ass niggas. Have four baby mamas. That's why they need women to take care of them. But we're not talking about the men. We're not talking about those men, right? So yeah. once again, I mean, they're clearly not talking about men they would actually marry. Of they're course, talking about guys that they have a good time with. At this point in their lives, they don't even see past six months. Nope, not really. She <laughs> says she likes a big dick. Me Simply too, put, I would. <laughs> like you can That's say, care of you can advice, say that, right? but the truth it's is, is that been there, guys been that. that are highly <laughs> successful, good dick, <laughs> right? <laughs> can I, like can I, guys, please. It's funny. It's, it's see how it's just all fun and games. Ooh, 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 good dick. <laughs> Well, ladies, there is a cost to this. And we talk about this all the time. Alpha fucks, beta bucks, alpha seed, beta need. Black Wolf Inc. with the $2 super chat says, new phrase, I knowism. Yes. I know a man, I know a woman. Yeah. Stop the cap. Stop. The guys that are highly successful want young, attractive girls, and they don't necessarily care about how much money she makes for her career. It is what it is. There's a, there's point, uh, there's a million articles out there of women complaining about men not being socioeconomically attractive. I mean, hell, you said your guy was a bum, you had to support him, you left him, mm -hmm. fine. But I guarantee you if the roles were reversed, he would probably stick it out with you because men don't necessarily care about a woman's ability to earn. If you make your own money, it's great, but it doesn't really benefit me. It's okay, the truth. facts, but like if you could, you go on a date with a girl or you go out with a girl yeah. and when you're going shopping and she goes to like, and she pulls out her own wallet to go pay for her own shit, doesn't that kind of like, like that's damn, one time. You, you fine, like that's kind of hot. It'd be like, nah, that's not, I don't care. D d not, oh my God, this is how lost these young girls yeah. are. So, so okay, so a woman can pay for stuff that she wants. To buy for herself. That's like me saying, you took a shower today? Ooh, that's so hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Like, this is, this is how lost these young girls are. It would be more impressive if she said, oh, okay, so 
it's your birthday and she shows up with something that's little like moderately expensive but you know you would never ask for but was super thoughtful yes you know like she dug into her pockets to like invest in you there you go you know would that turn you on kind of thing yeah i mean that's hey sure but she i'm going shopping i'm gonna go buy something for myself and i'm gonna pay for it all by myself and he's gonna want to fuck me because Mm -hmm. of that and that hot so nope. weird. <laughs> no, that's the dude. What the fuck? That's like women saying, "Well, I don't cheat." What do you want a fucking cookie? You're not supposed to cheat. Jesus. Don't worry, babe. I got it. And like, you'll pay for it, obviously. And honestly, if you didn't pay for it, I'd be like, "Yo, this is the last time I pay for my own shit." Ladies, with you ladies, deuces. you know what the problem whoa, is? Whoa, whoa. And women make this mistake because yeah, numerous what? times we've interviewed at this point. Well. What you just said, if you don't offer to pay for her stuff, she's Just gonna... listen, just listen, just listen. Let's listen one more time. Let's... Obviously, and honestly, fine. Just... Like, that's kind of hot. You'd be like, nah, don't worry, babe. I got it. And, like, you'll pay for it, obviously. And honestly, if you didn't pay for it, I'd be like, yo, this is the last time I pay for my own shit. Ladies, with ladies, you know. Wow. Wow, I feel so bad for you guys. <laughs> this, this is what you're dealing this with. Is what, this is what oh guys are dealing with. God. This is what you're dealing with. And, th- dude, this girl. Oh, wow. This girl is young and attractive, but you can tell she's been ran through. I've never even been shopping with someone. Else. Oh, stop That's it. Ridiculous. Don't start the snowflake. And here, here Devin goes, well, I'm not like, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> you know the promise, and women make this mistake. I'm going to remember this conversation next time we're shopping together, and I pay for something with my quiet, own money. Quiet, quiet, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna bend you over the uh, the counter and start going at it because you pulled out your wallet. So hot, right now. yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that, that's <laughs> that's not gonna work. What Myron is about to point out is that a man who is well to do is attractive to a woman. That's mm-hmm. what's hot to a woman. Women all the time want to conflate. Ma- oh, see, sexual attraction. I've said this for years. It is asymmetrical. The things that make us attractive attractive to you guys are not the things that make you attractive to us. These women on the panel and all of the other panels think quite literally the opposite. And it's sad to see. Because, yeah. Numerous times. We've interviewed, at this point, well over a thousand women. Women make the cardinal mistake of thinking attraction is symmetrical. There it is. It's not. We're not attracted to the same things you guys are. You guys are attracted to ambition, income, status, height, strength. What are men attracted to? The complete opposite. Submissiveness, beauty, youth, a woman that can bear our children, etc. If you have a career and you're strong and independent... Fantastic. You know what that is? Dre Raven on the YouTube side says the redhead equals truck stop Ariana Grande. Uh Uh-oh. Woo. Wow. Truck stop Ariana Grande. He didn't even say poor man's Ariana Grande. My man said truck stop Ariana Grande. Wow. That's the equivalent to for a man? Let's say I went on a date with you and I told you, hey, I'm a really snappy dresser. I got a whole closet full of Jordans. Got some Jimmy Choo sneakers. No one else has them. I got a wardrobe worth a million dollars. You'd be like, all right, that's cool for you, but it doesn't really benefit me. That's how men feel about women's careers. And the more money a man makes, the less he cares about a woman's career. Look at rappers, look at NBA players, etc. They're dating girls. There it is. There it is. Because they're young and hot, and that's what men care about. They care about beauty. Your career... Uh oh! Look at look at look at the SS Karen. Look at the SS Karen. She's she's waddling back and forth. Right, the wind is starting to pick up. The boat is kind of tipping one way or the other. She looks like she's about Good to talk. Good for you, but it doesn't make you sexier. You will lose every single time to a girl oh. that is young and hot if you have a career and you're not that attractive. It is what it is. Whereas a man that isn't attractive but has a career, successful, etc. You want to know why SS Karen is quiet? Why? Because she knows Myron is telling the truth. She knows Myron is right. She's just trying to think of something plucky to say. That's, uh, god damn. Well, you're good at this. Thank you. Good God. All right, guys, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something that I have not rehearsed, and it's going to scare the shit out of Dev. Oh, no. I'm going to, so this button right here, here, grab this. Okay. Don't touch anything. Press the button in the middle and press it twice. Press it, press it. Can press definitely it. now press there you go. That's how to start the video. That's how to stop the video. I'm gonna go take a 30 second pee break. You're gonna start the video and you're gonna break it down. No. Go. No. Do it. Do it. Oh my break God. it down. Break it oh, down. Break it down. Break oh. it down. Break it down. No. Oh boy. Only <sighs> pull chicks that an attractive guy will never be able to get. We're very different, ladies. I mean, you guys can fight biology as much as you want, but it's the truth. Okay, so this is an end result of, 
equality of the sexes. See, women are brought up to think that, you know, they want to be they want to be equal, they want to be bosses, they want to make the money, they want to, to do all this stuff, and they think that it, it does make them more attractive. However, I wish Donovan would come back really, really, really fast. I hope that he pees faster than he's ever peed in his life because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, haha. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, anyway, yeah. So, I mean, you can't really blame these poor women for being so delusional. I mean, this is really all they know. Here you go. Welcome Very back. nice. Oh all right. My God. Let's give Devin a hand oh for God. holding down the fort I hate you. Uh, while I'm gone. Listen, for whatever reason, my bladder seems to be the size of a blueberry, but I also happen to be very thirsty, so that's what's going to happen. Let's continue. Well said. Let's rate. Uh, listen, there we go. Look, we, we got some encouragement in the chat. It was uh, not good. On a, sc <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, one being terrible, let's rate Devin's first attempt at breaking I it down. I called you names. She called me names. No, I didn't. I mean, go ahead. I would never sure. do that. Of I course. think you said I that you pretty well. You, I could see your trigger. Did you hear that? Porn star girl says, I think he said that pretty well. See, so what's happening now is Myron is starting to sway. These women, these women know that Myron is telling the truth, but they can't admit that they know he's telling the truth. I think truck stop Ariana Grande, she doesn't know any better. Uh, the black girl, I don't even know what she sounds like. The the girl in the black in the middle is in denial. What do you think? I think your assessment is right. Uh, the girl in the back on the left, has she even said anything yet? No, she has not. Okay. She hasn't said. Oh, looks like we're coming in at sixes. We got a five. We got a six. Okay, not bad. Not bad for your first. Standard. Your first, yeah. standard, Good, but go ahead. standard. No, Devin but you really actually said that pretty well because I'm going to be very blunt. Like, I've had a couple sugar daddies before and stuff like that. And they, no, really? They make a certain, My ninja. Like, they make a certain amount of value. Like, they make a certain amount of money a year and shit like that. They don't give a fuck what I make. They there don't. And they still take care of me. That's why, because... They do th give a fuck about what you make. That's they why don't. they're giving you money. No, they what the hell is this woman... What the hell... What the fuck does this chick know about sugar daddies? This woman has never had a sugar daddy in her life. She is she does not have she does not have the body mass index <laughs> to have a sugar daddy. So now all of a sudden we know sugar daddies too. They don't. They, they want to spend you time with you, sweetheart. They want to spend time with you. Here they don't go. care about what you make. Some men they just don't want to talk to you. And they they don't even got attention. See you. If they know that they have enough money to spend time with you and get your time, which is so valuable to them, mm -hmm. that's why they want you. But if they it's not your time that's valuable, sweetheart. It's their time. It's yeah, there. There you go. Yeah. It's the, the only thing. The only time he's worried about is the time he spends plundering your three holes. So let's not let let, let, let let's not act like having a sugar daddy isn't a form he's of prostitution. He's paying you to optimize his own time. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Like. Oh God! This they know that you don't have any money. They don't care. Less, they can take care of you if they want you. If they really want you, they will take care of you. Yo, have they you would been? Be giving to a charity. Yo, let, 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 let her, let, guys, 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 let her, let her speak. Yeah, go, let her finish her point, and then you can go ahead and uh, join right after. Go ahead. Yeah, SS Karen is wild and out for sure. Jashawn Harris points out. Literally, I all I'm this? trying to say. Jay Blaze 11 says a man giving her money to go away after a quick fuck isn't a sugar daddy. Yeah, that's called a John. Same. Any type of dude, like if they are a high value man, she clearly has the Miami accent. You know what that is? Like, like the Miami accent. Oh, like, like if a man pays for me, like yeah, that's Miami like accent. Woman. Oh my god! Like if a man wants to pay for a, pay for two women. Oh god. They don't care about what you make, bro. They really don't care about what you make. Cause I've gotten screamed at before at my sugar daddy about what I make and shit like that. They're like, I don't care. Like, you know, I could give and you this. Not a bum. I'm not. I make my own money. I don't need to depend on no man. I go to the club. I make shit. I make my money on online. I make money in person. I go to the club. Oh. So I don't even go to the club right now because it's not even worth it. The value oh. of like what you're making in the club right now is at down. How Devin, do put make, it up. How do you make money on the, at the club? She's a stripper, sweetie. Oh, yes. Devin, put it on the poll. Put it on the poll. Like, ooh, what did I miss? No, no, no. That's all right. Put it on the poll. <laughs> what do you think the notch count? What do you think her notch count is? The girl on the far right who's doing the quick talking, the OnlyFans girl. What do you think her notch count is? Uh, choice number one, she's a virgin. Choice number two, one to 50. Choice number, th choice number uh, 
three, 50 to 100. Choice number four, 100 plus. So she's either a virgin, one to 50, 51 to 100, or 100 plus. Devin is putting that on the poll as we speak. Ah, Dre Raven says 575, okay. Uh, Johnny Green says her body count. It's over 9,000! Wouldn't be surprised. And it's surprising because it's the holidays. Right now, you're supposed to be making money. Over here in Miami, they ain't shit to be made. You're going to work your ass off for probably about 10 hours for no reason. I make my money online, and I meet people up. I do massages, too. You make hella money damn. just doing massages. At Hold up. She does massages, too? God damn. Alone. So that being but, said, like... But she doesn't need no man to support her because none of her clients are men. I'm going to tell you what, she clearly she clearly does not need a man because no, she is tricking. Like, dude, she is turning tricks every goddamn where. Her OnlyFans has an OnlyFans. Goddamn. <laughs> I meet hella people of value Damn and they don't give a fuck about what I make because they'll give me more on top of that because they like me because they want to see me. Oh, why, I boy. <laughs> oh, boy. They give her extra because they like her. They like her personality. That's what. No, sweetheart, they give you extra because you pretended you like swallowing. That's that's the reason they give you extra, sweetie. Like what you'll see is this th this girl. We'll call her P Star. She'll veer from common sense to okay. This is the woman's id coming. Yeah, out. it's like a waitress saying that your waitress likes bringing you food. Oh my God! Wow, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is the very first Don DeMarco Devin has ever gotten. A waitress saying that people actually a waitress saying she actually likes bringing you food is that what you were saying oh, yeah yeah that's why i tip her she, she really likes she really me likes food. bringing yes right yeah she smiled at me she must she really likes me her like she, she is she is akin to the dude who thinks the stripper actually any likes other of these waitresses could have come to this table and she came to but my she came table to my table mm -hmm. yes so. and she smiled and she brought me extra water and free bread because she likes she me. likes she me. likes what mm -hmm. she does demand them to Understand that my time is very valuable. My time is not to be wasted. If you waste my time, oh boy, here you we will go. never see me again. And oh if you boy. try to see me again, I'm going to degrade you a little bit. Because the fact I'm that you wasted my time. Oh, oh, oh shit. It, right, or keep it is... a thousand. Go ahead. Damn, that bitch is hardcore. Uh, broke Black Lemur with a $5 super chat says, this is black. He said, this is Black Lemur's broke-ass cousin. Please tell him that I need a loan. He's not taking my calls. I really need that lamp. Oh. Uh, Black Lemur, uh, come get your man. Uh, come get your man, Black Lemur. Uh, your broke-ass your broke cousin says he's trying to get, he, he said he, he needs to get that about you. I know you had something you say. Go ahead. I'm good. <laughs> what? Say, it's fine. Like, wait a minute. Now, so Myron gives her the floor. So, so, so just watch. Oops, wait a minute. So so this woman is making all sorts of gestures. She's, I disagree. Oh, really? But Myron gives her the floor, and all of a sudden it's, like, what are we doing? To Watch. understand that my time is very valuable. My time is not to be wasted. If you waste my time, you will never see me again. And if you try to see me again, I'm going to Yeah, this has nothing to do with anything, but whatever. Grade you a little bit. Because the fact that you wasted my time. Uh, it, all right, or that keep is... it a thousand. Go ahead. I know you had something you say. Go ahead. I'm good. <laughs> Just say it's fine. Like this is a it's civil discussion. Opinion. Like, like go ahead. You know what I'm saying? No, because he made the argument about like them not wanting hoes, but then that was what it turned into is they want only hoes. They don't want hoes. Yeah, that's what he literally just said. They we will fuck hoes, sweetheart. We do not commit to women. When Devin, when will women understand? When will women understand that? Sexual market value is not the same as relationship market value. You know the expression. Expression. Excuse me. You mistake my kindness for weakness. Okay. They mistake attraction for r commitment. Man, Devin's you know dropping. I mean? I'm going to tell you what, dude, guys, I'm going to tell you what. Ten minutes before the show, I was going to kick Devin out of the studio because she was pissing me off. But I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to uh, 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 could come through for you, babe. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I decided to uh, uh, go ahead and lock you, uh, uh, put the ankle chain. Uh, back on you because everyone seems to do that. Yeah, Black Wolf Inc. I did miss that super chat. Uh, Black Wolf Inc. with the ten dollar with the five dollar super chat says the only time men care about women's careers is when their interests are common: movies, sports, anime, video games, etc. The SS Karen's cap. It's over nine thousand. Yep. They want no, somebody that they can no. control and give money to, okay. and they don't have I mean, to do let anything. Let me make this extremely. Here we go. Control and give money to. Be clear. 
We have 1,212 people watching, guys. Please get the likes up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Greatly, greatly appreciate it if we would get my engagement up and over 50%. Please get the likes up. Thank you. There's men, right? There's, uh -huh. there's sexual attraction. Uh -huh. Then there's relationship attraction. Okay? So there's girls that you want to wipe. And then girls that you're just going to have sex with. Okay? Men look at things differently. So if you're just going to casually have sex with a girl, cool. Let's do all the strange, weird shit. Cool. Mm. Fantastic. Let's get our sexual fantasies out there. But when it comes to taking a woman serious for courtship and eventually marriage and potentially children and a family, men are going to be far more serious about vetting the woman. It's not the same. So what she's referring to is guy, like there's guys that want to hang out with young, attractive girls, sometimes sexually, and then it might go from there into a relationship. But when a man commits to a girl, he's going to want a certain type of character. He's not going to want her to put all her assets out there. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Men are very territorial with women. You know, and we have all these stupid institutionalized terms nowadays that we use. It's insecure, toxic, misogynistic, blah, blah, blah. No, I consider it intelligent. Protecting oh! your relationship. Oh! Protecting... Holding up the patriarchy. Holding up the patriarchy? Yeah. No. Holding up the patriarchy. Okay. Here we go. I here we I go. I say here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. When I was a teenager, starting, let's just say, high school. Okay. Is this a scary story? No. no oh, okay. All right, no. go ahead. No, but my, my dad, my stepdad, you know, he, uh, he <laughs> really drilled into me, my older sister. Mm -hmm. Your reputation is everything and we never like we never really understood like our reputation what reputation right, whatever right and like getting labeled as a slut was the worst possible mm, thing yes any man any any father could want on his daughter right or it could because he it was yesterday for him in his mind mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. any girl labeled that was instantly disqualified that's right that's right. So he wanted us, he didn't tell us to maintain a pure image, but he told us that, hey, don't do, don't do this, don't do that, don't come across like you're giving it away. Oh, uh -huh. yes, yeah. that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like for these girls to say, oh, no, that's the patriarchy. No, that's called reality. Yes, yes, yes. I That's biology. I, That's mother nature. Right. M men, we are genetically predisposed to be repulsed by women who, who get passed around. Now, we'll smash these women all day and all night. There's a place in society There's for There's a place in society, yes, and we like to put the scarlet letter on them. Mm -hmm. um, but women these days, they think the scarlet letter is a good thing. They do. They do. Uh, and, you know, back in the days, say, let's say these types of women were found in certain places. They were found in gentlemen's clubs where, yes. where ladies, ladies of the night, we, no, mm -hmm. where real ladies, like w real ladies, not oh. ladies of the night. Oh, oh, they oh, would oh. never, ever have their face shown. in. These of course, places. of course not. Of course not. Yes. So even though their men can go, these women for, forget it. I'm not walking in there. I might uh -uh. be seen as a floozy. Okay? <laughs> let's just, let's That's just, exactly let's right. Just put on the flapper hat. And, a you know. harlot. <laughs> floozy harlot uh, tart. Yes. yes. So, and, and you kind of equate these types of places as like the modern day club or the there bar. Yep. And so these women think like, oh, okay, well, if I don't go to those places, I'll never find a man. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. how did all these other women end up landing quality, high quality men? Not at the club. Not at the club. Yep, that's right. So I... I in a way that they're 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 really putting them themselves in these smaller boxes than the patriarchy ever could. Jesus, ay 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 ay. Okay, um, <laughs> here we go. I mean, uh, the, the patriarchy, patriarchy works. It is the reason why you have yes, what you have please, right now. Let's. Doctor B eighty four says SMV is not RMV. <laughs> Goddamn right. Uh, J Blaze on the Sharp Stream side says watch. Uh, women watch Easy A with Emma Stone. Sh Emma Stone. It will show you the way. Yes, it will. Control all women. That's here just we... like such it's a not great about, idea. It's not about controlling women. That's... See, here we go. The patriarch is about controlling women. Okay. I'm simply saying this. That's so funny. Look, Myron shuts her down. Just like, uh, okay. Watch, 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 watch. Patriarchy watch. works. It is the reason why you have yes, what you have please, right now. Yes, please. Let's control all women. Watch. That's just like such it's a not great about, idea. It's not about controlling women. That's okay. I'm simply. <laughs> 
Okay. You can tell that every nothing that comes out of this woman's mouth is an original thought. Mm-mm. Right? Everything that she is everything that she that she is countering and arguing with, you can tell it came out of somebody else's thought process. She doesn't have any older brothers. I mean, she you can might. tell like there's n- been nobody in her house to tell her to STF you, you know, like shut the fuck up. Yeah. 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 The, the, she's just right off with the mouth her whole entire life. Hmm. The way she talks with her hands reminds me of the kind of women I do wide bursts around in the, the mall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Uh, Technomage B5 with the $10 super chat says a big irony of effinism as they are freed is that they freed women from rules that protected them from themselves and their instincts. Many realize this after the wall hits. Some never get it at all. Wow. Uh, Johnny Green on the YouTube side says, uh, she's going to go crazy any moment now. Geeky Anomaly says, God, she's so dumpy. Yep. You know, I have a comment about Techno's comment. Is that, in a way, women were more free before Dude. feminism. Yes. And they were treated better. Yes. Yes. I mean, yes, there were there were these frameworks in place that made sure that women, each woman got a quality husband yep. that could support a mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. you know? And, yeah, there were bad ones out there. there yep. There's bad everything anywhere. You of course. Look. But for, of the, course. for the most part, society was structured so that it was sustainable. Yes. That's all right. And, you know... There's a lot of different reasons why that collapsed, feminism being a big one, economics being another big uh-huh. one. But it, it, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me that they think that they're less, any less free than they were when they didn't have to work. Now what? you're a slave to the government paying yes. taxes. Oh, you're yes. a slave to whoever's employing you. Yeah, they control, they're, listen, I'm going to tell you what, women are more controlled now under effinism than they ever were under the patriarchy because now the government controls them, their jobs control them, right? Yep. Whereas when you, now here's the thing. I'm in favor of first wave feminism. All first wave feminism sought to do was give a woman a choice, right? Okay, you can either be a stay-at-home mom or you can enter the workforce. Well, women were always in the workforce, just sure. not and not as common in droves, you know. Three, like two out of three. Yeah, and it was right. like World War One and World War Two that really pushed women into the roles that were meant. The, the men were doing the patriotic thing and going off to war. Right. And so women had to fill those roles, but rather than relinquish those roles. When it was time for men to fill them again, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, this is our right. Yes. We need to be here. And it's funny how this goes hand in hand with the Industrial Revolution. Excuse me. All right. Uh, Big Al with the $5 oh. Super Chat says, male leadership is not misogynist. Women benefit from it. Continue. With the Industrial Revolution, you know, all of a sudden, housework got easier. Oh, my God. You yes. Know, we have washing machines yes. and dishwashers. Ironing and boards. Ironing boards and disposable diapers and Vacuum all of cleaners. these things yeah. that make, make lives for house housekeeping. And, Housewives. Yeah. Ha- makes for whatever. House women. House women. <laughs> Housewives. Makes life easier. Sure. Gives them more free time to pursue whatever it is their desires they want to do. Like staying in shape. Because you know what also you know what men also invented? We invented the Peloton. We invented the Bowflex. Yes. There you go. Yes, but also to do things that would benefit their communities and, sure. and you know, just big rein- sales, reinvest, PTA, exactly, cl- yeah, reinvest of course, their of course. time and energy into making their community a better place. Clearly not the case instead, now. Instead, yeah, instead they chose to go to work. How's that working out for you? And neglect their families and their homes and their communities. But then wonder where have all the good men gone? Patriarchy bad. Ostrike ten dollars says on sex versus relationships, Dubai pervs would rather take a dump on an American import 304 so they don't have to give the mother of their children strange looks for the rest of their lives. <laughs> yep. Wow. I'm saying this. If a woman wants to demonstrate certain behaviors, you don't commit to her. What's wrong with men having choice? Nope. You there can you do go. what you right. want, but See I'm that? not going to commit to you. There you go. What's wrong there with that? Go. Am okay. I supposed to accept you and your promiscuous past and your certain behavior when I'm trying to have a family? Nope. Hell no. Matter of fact, Uh, let's take a look at the uh, poll. Let's look, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the, the the poll results. <laughs> so Devin put on the poll. Oh wait a minute. Devin put on the poll. Five hundred and ten votes. What do you think her notch count is? This is the masseuse. Eight uh, percent said she's a virgin. Seventeen <laughs> percent said uh, one to fifty. 
29% said 50 to 100, and 45% of you had the correct answer. Uh, thank you very much for all 510 people who voted. Appreciate that. Uh, Technomage B5 with the $10 super chat says, Propaganda history equals women wanted to keep their jobs. Most women were happy to go home after World War II ended because work was hard. The 60s saw a resurgence in the idea that women prefer to work. Well, then, that, well, 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 there you go. This is what you were talking about. I have never had a problem with, with first wave feminism. All it sought to do was give women a choice. Most women are cut out to be housewives, you know, house, um, uh, you know, housewives, homemakers, etc. But not all of them were. If a woman wanted to go out and earn a little bit of extra money, she could. But like Geeky Anomaly said in the chat, they actually had feminine jobs. And here's the kicker. When women are home and raising families mm -hmm. and investing their time in their families and their communities, they become what's called a matriarch. Right? That's they're, right. They're the, the, the mothers are the glue uh, often yes. that hold the Absolutely. families together for generations. That's right. That's right. And, you know, a mother has four children. Her four children have four children. Next thing you know, you've got, you know, 16 grandkids running around. You've got... You know, then all of a sudden you got great grandkids. Yeah. And all of a sudden your your family becomes your community. Yes. We've completely lost that. Yep. We have completely lost that. And it's because of women like this, this chick. The feminism so they, they basically are fighting the patriarchy by removing the matriarchy. That doesn't make any sense. No. She doesn't this woman has no clue what the patriarchy really is, and Myron is about to clue her in on this. No, I don't have to accept that. But so therefore, you will not get you commitment. Said the girls that you wanted were the girls that were doing that. I'm so confused. Did I not just tell you that there's two different routes? There's a yeah, relationship route, course. and then there's just a sex route? Okay, well then, what the fuck is this girl not understanding? I, at this point, she's just arguing to disagree. The women that men Look, commit to my... Do you see that? Look, this is so funny. This woman is just trying... This woman is just waiting to say something. Did you drink that down the wrong pipe? Yeah, my throat is... I'm not used to talking so much. <laughs> I know, my eyes are watering and everything. I'm not used to talking so much. Somebody's going to clip that. Be like, that, it, Al, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, Donovan does have Devin locked up. Just watch this woman's reaction. Every time Myron defeats an argument, she has nothing to say. Like, she throws her body blow, Myron, <laughs> Myron, you know, or he holds the phone, he, he, he you know, uh, uh, you know, from that uh, right hook. She's got nothing. Watch, this is funny. No, I don't have to accept that. But so, therefore, you will not get you commitment. Said the girls that you wanted were the girls that were doing that. I'm so confused. Did I not just tell you that there's two different routes? There's a yeah, relationship route, and then there's just a sex route? The women that men commit to. Like, dude, she's literally just talking out of her flabby ass at this point. Uh, Dr. B, 80, I'm sorry, Slambright, $5, says it must be so difficult when you want to be treated like a lady when it benefits you and scary bad men uh, want you to be a lady when it takes effort. Yeah, women want all the benefits without any of the costs. Mm -hmm. Dr. B, 84 $10, says every woman I know who's a mother and wife is happy, like really happy. Every woman I know who has a career and is unmarried slash divorced with no kids is really unhappy. Yeah. Um, I think they did like a study, and I'm not into the studies thing, but the archetype of the of of the uh, of the most miserable woman in the United States, 42 years old with a career making, I mean, 75,000 and up, yeah. who is single or unmarried. Sounds about right. Yep. <clears throat> so it might not and necessarily they the be the Sex in the City reboot. Oh thing. my oh god, that's good. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Same women that they're just having casual sex with. There's two different routes. Just like you have a guy that you might friend zone and you'll never fuck him, and then another guy that you like really hot for him and he doesn't have to pay a cent to see you. They're the same exact thing. Switch the role. Switch the role so and this that's, can be yeah, understood. And that's what I'm trying more. to tell her. You have guys in a friend zone that you would never have sex with, probably, correct? Correct. Exactly. So <laughs> that's just like guys. There's women in, in the sex zone that they will never take seriously that's and give right. a relationship. I have talked about this many times. There are two different friend zones, okay? When a woman says she's in the friend zone, this doesn't mean she's not getting the dick. Right. He friend zoned me. No, he fuck friend zones you. Women who are in the fuck friend zone, they get all the dick without the commitment. Men who are in the friend zone, we get all the commitment and all the time without the vagina. Yep. Uh, John Henry with the $20 Super Chat says, For the man, the myth... The legend, we love what you do. Oh, Jizzle, respect to you and Dev. Appreciate that very much. Yes, Dev will be on camera 
starting on Wednesday. She will be on camera starting on Wednesday. I'm almost done. Um, I've got to re-outfit the studio. All I really have to do is just move a couple of cameras around. i got to clean out that supply closet, and we'll be all set. And Devin, with uh, in all of her glory, will be on camera for all the world to see. Man. You You're going to say something? No. Same the exact girls thing. girls have that? Okay. So, like, everybody. That's what he's that. saying. That's but what it's he's not, saying, But, though. no, his argument is the girls and guys are not the same. Like, girls. We're not the same. But I'm giving you an equivalent. But he's saying that men also have a choice is what he's saying. Yeah, you're listening men just, have a choice to, to what? <laughs> wow. Fresh spoke up. Mm-hmm. He says, you're listening just to argue. Fresh actually thought this girl was a plant. He's like, you got to be a plant, bro. You got to be. Really? Who yes. they wanted to? Yeah, he thinks th- this girl is so, like her arguments, she is so over the top ridiculous. Fresh actually thought that she was a plant. And you'll see why. A plant by who? Just a hater? Probably Aben Preach. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, she looks like she's in their ballpark. So yeah, she's in a little better shape than Abba. So uh, yeah, be yeah. their person. Bro, and be and women man. don't have that choice. But he's saying that everyone has a choice. I'm everyone. simply saying women and men. I'm simply there you saying go. he's just saying that we're not that the same. Men have a choice too, and if a woman has a certain type of lifestyle and/or behaviors, uh. that man is 100 percent within his right to not commit to her and only have yeah. sex with her, just like you are 100 percent within your right. Do not take a man seriously and put him in the friend zone and or have sex with the men that you want. I'm simply saying guys don't have to accept bad female behavior. Right. He's Period. basically no. saying, like, you know that one whole nigga or whatever, but that one whole man that, that everybody knows is always thirsty for everybody, you will, you'll say no to him. He's saying right. that it's okay for men to do the same thing with women. There you go. But at the end of the day, yeah. men and women is still different. <laughs> Because you got to think about men and woman. She did. About it. The way that, like, <laughs> let's say we go to the club, right? I don't get it. Oh, here we you go. You and me can go into the club for free, right? They have to pay out of pocket. Yep. See? Right. Unless See? they got. To- listen, she's not speaking up then, right? She's like, listen, we go to the club. Men, we get the- we as men, we got to pay to go- get in the club. Women get to get in for free. We don't complain about that. That says Karen has to pay to get in the club. But- <laughs> Yes, let that listen. Example for her. S- uh, okay, yeah, SS parent, SS Karen definitely pays to get in the club. Uh put it on the poll, Dev, put it on the poll. <laughs> put it on the poll. Does SS Karen, does SS Karen pay to get in the club? Does SS Karen pay to get in the club? Slam break with Slam Bright $5 super chat says, "Quote, I'm so confused is stupid passive aggressive BS." To imply that Myron isn't making sense, it's sign language and it's pitiful. I totally agree. This I'm so confused. And when you look at her face when she says it, you can tell it's just a passive aggressive way of saying you're not making any sense. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here, man. Type, some type of the... status, and these people know them as soon as they're walking into the door. That's what I'm trying to say. We're very different because men and women, we got different type of free passes. Women yeah. get a lot of free passes. What? And especially if you're pretty, Uh-oh. people don't even give a fuck. Exactly. So that being said, men have to work a lot more harder for certain things. And so that's why they require certain things that they want when it comes to a relationship. What? So if they don't see that, they're just going to find another world. How many of... Hold up. No, the fuck you didn't. Get the fuck up out of here. Did you hear this knowledge this chick just dropped? I'm going to tell you what, man. Some of the most red pill women out here are hoes like this. Like, this woman's body count, I believe, is probably into the triple digits. But guess what? If you got a body count that high, you like you know us up. Yeah, but the pragmatism does her no favors. Of course not. Of course. Well, it doesn't do her any favors, but it does her favors on the podcast. She's yeah. literally saying what Byron has been saying for, what, a year now? Mm-hmm. Incredible. Uh, Casual Germ, $20, says paying tuition. Appreciate that. Of those men Damn, in the chat son, are actually you There it is. Successful. Good job, Aura. That we're commenting See? on. That's Aura. That's her name, okay. Aura. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I'm just telling you what men really think. It's just that they can't speak like this because if they do, they, they get, get hit with terms like That's the right. patriarchy and all those other things. Misogyny. And these are just, you know, certain trigger words that, you know, <laughs> you know, people on the left. Dre Raven on the short, on the YouTube side says, not only does she pay, but she pays double. The bouncers remember the bouncer remembers her argumentative ass from last week. <laughs> you can't let you can't not let me in. I deserve to get in for free. Uh, Ice Dragon Kid said, hoes know the game. Yep. Oh, you better believe it. Social justice warriors and feminists. You got something? No. Nope. just want to say to shame men that have standards. And just like you have standards, you want a guy that maybe makes a certain amount of money, success status. or a... Black Wolf Inc. says she has to pay. It's over 9000 To get in. 
Yep. Success <laughs> level, whatever. Dre Raven nailed it. She is the mother hen. This, oh my God. Oh my God. The mother hen, the gatekeeper, that's who this is. And the biggest woo girl. Of the oh world. my God. Doesn't she? Holy <laughs> sh For those of you who don't know what woo girls are, they're the girls who are in the club, walking down the street. Their, 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 their BMI is surplus. They're out of shape. They have blonde hair. Woo! That's all they do because they know they really don't have anything else. They want to pretend like they're having fun, but they're 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 getting drunk to compensate for the fact that they're fat. Nobody wants. And to they're fuck first them. to pee between the parked cars. Yes. on the street. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes, the, the, these are the girls <laughs> that are that pass out in the street with their you know they're, they're, they've got throw up on their blouses oh, and they're yeah like that's that's who this is. Yes, you are one hundred percent within your right to have your preferences. But men are 100% within their right to have preferences, too. You want a man that's successful, tall, confident, ambitious? I want a girl that's young, attractive, and not a slut if I'm going to commit to her seriously. Nothing wrong yeah. with preferences. It's just that men always get no. shamed for their pre preferences. But if she's not a slut, why do you need to control her? Why does she not need there to go out go. with her Incorrect. friends? Incorrect. I am in control of my life. She can choose what she wants to do. Damn. But I do not have to accept it. That's the difference. There you go. So she this is literally my argument yes. with the bitches the other day. Mm -hmm. If I withdraw my commitment because of something my girlfriend does or says, that's not controlling. That is simply, that's controlling my reaction. I say this all the time, guys, and you guys have heard me say this plenty of time. You cannot control women, okay? You cannot control women. Women want men who are in control. You are only in control of what you do. If, if you make it clear to your girlfriend, hey, I do not tolerate X, Y, and Z behavior. If you engage in X, Y, and Z behavior, I withdraw my commitment. And any woman who says that's controlling, possessive, or insecure, that is simply a woman who does not like the fact that you are in control of your choices. They want to be able to do what they want to do without any consequences, and you're not the guy who's going who's gonna, to who's gonna take that. It's almost as if uh, overt communication, as you like to put it, direct communication. yes. yes. Um, is is seen as controlling where these women are are used to co operating covertly, meaning okay, you're like okay, I'm allowed I'm allowed to do whatever I want, right? Yeah, you're a grown woman. But if I go to book club mm -hmm. with my friends, that's okay, right? Are Even you though asking book me? Book club is at the local sports bar. You know what I mean? Like they'll find ways sure, sure. around the yeah, stuff yeah. only to give you an opportunity to say no. Right. And then they call you controlling. Even though you were direct, you made a, a straight line from A to B. Of course. They found a back asswards way of getting there. Yep. Only to, to try to subvert your conditions. Yep. And then to say, oh, well, you won't let me do this. You are controlling, but it's book club. But there's nothing wrong with it. But I don't want my I don't date women who go to bars or clubs. There you go. This is being held at a bar. That's right. If you want to do this, go to your friend's house. There you go. You know right. what I mean? So I I can understand it, but these women they don't have the logic because they don't understand being told no. No, they they don't understand being told no, but they understand very well. They understand very well why men like myself have these requirements. Oh my God, why don't you want us going to bars or clubs? Why don't you want us traveling by ourselves? They know damn well what happens when they go to clubs, when they travel by themselves. But don't you trust me? I don't trust anybody. Right. Dude, I don't even trust you. You know, I mean, listen, everybody says, do you trust Devin? No, Devin's a woman. I trust Devin to be a woman. I trust that Devin, being a woman, is going to succumb to the pressure of fucking a dude she wants to fuck if she puts herself in that position. Now, if Devin wants to jump back on the carousel, she is more than she is more than welcome to. She's got the body to do it and all and all this other kind of stuff. But that doesn't but that means I withdraw my commitment. Again, Devin is free to do whatever it is she wants to do. The what these women have a problem with, and just like when I was on the panel, they have a problem with the consequences of their actions. They're used to guys, they're used to being able to shame guys into saying, You're being controlling and possessive. Well, I don't want to be controlling and possessive, so I will allow my woman to put our relationship at risk on purpose. And they and again, women know damn well why men like myself do not tolerate this behavior. I agree. Uh blah, 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 blah. John Henry. 
$5 says, just like Craig Robin said in Knocked Up, I can't have a bunch of old and pregnant bitches in the club. Yeah, right? Teddy KGB says, Donovan. Uh, KGB says, uh, Teddy KGB says, Donovan, uh, just got a text from my brother. We're betting on the uh, Alabama-Georgia National Championship game. I've got Bama. Uh, uh, $5 says, Donovan, we thank you for your work and your teachings. You will never know the impact uh, you truly have on men's lives. We thank you. Wow, that was nice. That was very nice. Appreciate very that. Nice. Yeah. Tell that to my haters, right? You can't go out with her friends even though you know she's not a slut and you she want her. She has a choice even though you know she's not a slut. How do you know she's not a slut? See? She's making, see, again, she's making assumptions. Even though, how do I know she's not a slut? Most girls are sluts, so now we're right. assuming? Well, the problem, I think, especially, I don't know how old this lady is or any of these women. She's probably 30. She's probably 31. The problem is, is that most of these girls have been hoes since before they even turned 20, old enough to drink. Of course, of course. So, yeah. in their minds, they're already disqualified yep. from this conversation. So they've got to find a way to bring themselves back in the running. There you go. You know, that's right. I can, oh my God, really? Oh, you don't, guys don't want hoes. Well, she, yeah, I was a hoe for right, 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 right. five years. You right, know, right, what right. am I going to do? Right, right. Oh, but now I make money. Now I make a living. Now I'm doing all of these things. Doesn't it make me more attractive? Yeah. Because I'm trying to cover up what went on back there. Oh, I like that. Cover up your, uh, cover up your slutty. Yeah. Tracks. Like, like a cat. Covering up his duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what? It's funny. Um, so here we go. I like this. I like this analogy. So a woman's slutty past is like shit in the litter box, mm -hmm. right? A cat poops and cover it up. They forget about it. They think they it just disappears. Yeah, they're like, oh, I guess. But, but but then they expect other cats to come in. And see just litter. No, I can smell the poop through the litter. Now, if you have a litter robot like we do, right. it makes, uh, Which makes everybody a little... should. Yes, they should. Uh, 50 fits well. $5 says, if feminism de demands equality, then I demand you pay equal half of the bills up in this biatch. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to take another bathroom break. Devin, hey, 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 this is the job. Start the video. Do it. Go on. Go on. To make... She can go out with her friends and go out to the clubs and everything else. Basically, behavior not conducive to a successful relationship. Married women with children don't do that. Okay? If I'm betting this woman to be the mother of my children, that's not motherly behavior. <laughs> yeah, I would hope not because how would you know they were even your children? How then she will come back out? and I will not be there. I, but I do know married women yeah. that do that. Oh, no wonder. Now she's got someone to model her behavior after. Yeah. Well, too, that's they not. They just have a trust. With yeah, their it's person. a communication. Yeah, I mean, communication. Like, it's all it's about just communication. A trust that you have with okay, your... okay, 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 okay. So I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust anybody to do anything where they're where you can predict their behavior and not expect them to not behave that way. There you it go. doesn't make any sense. Hey. All right. There you go. Sounds like you're doing a little bit better. Um, I don't know why, dude. I'm peeing like every. Well, because I'm drinking, like, I've, I've drank how many, two, three bottles of water already? Heesh. Hold on, here's the thing. That's that's the problem. <laughs> we live in a modern-day society where that's considered acceptable. And that's guess right. what we have here? We have... When, over... Wait, hold... Can I finish? Go ahead, go ahead. Before this, Technomage B5 with the $5 super chat says she's a slut until proven otherwise. Life's a lot easier that way. That is law. I forget which law, but I think that's law number six of the 49 laws of Sharp. Assume law number five of the 49 laws of sharp. Assume she is a slut until proven otherwise. Uh, Devin put on the poll. Does SS Karen pay to get in the club? 80% uh, of you said yes. 20% of you need to get glasses. Uh, thank you very much to the 397 <laughs> people who voted. Black Wolf Inc. gave you a seven that time. Hey, hey nice. Street Fighter. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Excellent. Excellent. You All were right. Also peeing a lot faster, so it was less. Uh trauma on there you ears. go see that how about that i like um i like geeky anomaly's comment what about schrodinger's cat you know about oh schrodinger's, schrodinger's cat, cat. Yes. yes wow very good yeah geeky anomaly's a he's a he's a smart guy like that he knows i'm gonna hit you with some numbers right now the, yeah, uh oh the, i used to have a t-shirt in the front said schrodinger's cat is dead and on the back it said schrodinger's cat is not dead okay like 94 percent of people don't understand what you just said okay okay i thought it was cute i'm sh i'm sure you did ay yeah 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 Jesus. I hate you. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Dude, you give the bitch the mic for like for for thirty seconds, all of a sudden she wants to tell jokes. Let's continue. Was, Over fifty percent of marriages. And that's enough. And then divorce. <laughs> You're right. About eighty percent of them. And most there of those is. are because they are controlling relationships. Oh all my all god. Things? Are you like, fucking serious? You off. 80% of divorces are initiated by women <laughs> for fa financial reasons. Castle. Not actually. Just listen, just listen. That's, that's this is a communication. All, this woman always blames men. This is why we know she's misandrous. I mean, like, communication. It's, it's all about communication. It's just a trust that you have with your person. Hold on, here's the Ice Dragon Kids, I'd eat buy that shirt. Told you. I was cool. Thing. That's that's the problem. We live in a modern day society where that's considered acceptable. Yeah, Dev was kind of a geek when she was in school, but that's all right. Well, and guess what we have here? We have. What, wait, hold, uh, can I finish? Go ahead, go ahead. Because I'm going to hit you with some numbers right go, now. Yeah, Let's do it. Over fifty percent of marriages end in divorce. Of course, you're right. About eighty percent of them. And most of those are because they are controlling relationships. Can you let them talk, please? <laughs> like, stop telling people off. What? And most of them because they're controlling relationships. I'm surprised it's only fifty percent. This is low. This is the kind of woman that blames everything on men, right? Um, women initiate 80 to 90% of divorces, and they initiate probably 90 plus percent of breakups. Men don't leave women. Women leave men. What are we doing? Black Wolf Inc. says the Big Bang Theory talked about Schrodinger's cat wolf course. Yeah, well, I wore that shirt when I was like 25, so I think that was before Big Bang Theory. So I was doing it before Devin it was, was cool. A, Devin was a geek <laughs> before it was cool. She was a geek before it was cool. I read cool. too much science fiction. Yeah, That's Dev's a is. science fiction. Yeah, uh, Dev is a, and her favorite band is Bad Religion. She's just kind of a 90s ska girl. Divorces are initiated by women. Frank. For fa financial reasons. Castle. Not actually. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Fresh wants this bitch chick uh, kicked out. For financial reasons, not for. You know. Techno Mage B5 says, get the fuck out of here. She doesn't know that. Yeah, right. Uh, J Blay says, I'm going to say she's a C word. You no, know, controlling reasons that you're saying. So yep. women are the ones ending relationships. And a big part is because men don't have nuts and tell their girl, this is my standards. This is what I want. There you go. This is how it's got to be. I'm not telling you guys you can't go out. I'm just saying. A lot of guys have an issue with it and they can't speak up about it because they're going to get hit with shaming language like this. Boom. I'm here to tell you all like, no, like that's that is not behavior conducive to a good relationship. And that is not what I want the mother of my children doing. Maybe Woo! some other guy might want it. But deep down, if you ask any man that's in a relationship with a girl, especially if he has kids with them and he said, hey, bro, I know your girl goes out to the club every week. Do you uh. really want her to do that? He would say. I prefer she didn't, but he ain't gonna say shit because he That's doesn't right. want to get hit. I disagree. With this type I have so many friends that are couples that they actually. Oh, there it is. What is it called? I know. Uh, what is that disease called that he just made up? I know he's or I know. I know. Someone yeah, I know. I know ism. Uh, Rolo Tomasi's in the house. Rolo says they will always default to quote. Well, if men weren't such abusive failures, women wouldn't file for divorce. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Dr. B84 said we almost had a fresh castle on this one. Yeah. Fresh is not. Dude, fresh is disengaged. He's not here for the nonsense, man. He's really not. And married, that got married after starting OnlyFans together. Um, but stop the cow. Even if she were telling the truth, she's talking about the exception to the rule. So what she's talking about is that a hoe found a high value man. They started an OnlyFans together. And now they live happily ever after. Your thoughts? What planet is stop she living on? Planet Cap. Yeah, I guess so, because, yeah, they're happy now. <laughs> They've been doing it for, what, three months? If that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on. I know someone who, get out of here. Yes, Black Wolf Inc., I know is him. Get out of here. Come on. Literally, a not, not, oh, or not even together. Just my a friend that just, she does OnlyFans, and she just does OnlyFans mainly content with but how herself. many of those relationships actually last, though? Honestly, a, a not, I don't know how many really, really last, but that I know. These all, I swear all... I haven't seen this episode. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I don't... Well... Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Jesus wow. Christ. Uh, Ragu Alford with the $5 Super Chat says, Trying to educate Western cultured women is literally like talking to a wall. Yep. Freaky Fred, welcome to Chat Privileges. <laughs> At Freaky Fred to welcome him to the TSR family. Freaky Fred, if you would... If you would, please put your age and location in the chat. Dre Raven on the sh on the YouTube side says, Truck Stop Ariana Grande must be dreaming. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, J Blaze 11 on the Sharp Stream side says, Red had hope, but she went the route of a slut. She had, Listen, Red has personality and she has spunk, but that's only because she's young. 
in about five years, she's she'll, she's going to have the energy of the chick on your screen yeah. right now. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It is. They're all lasting. Okay. Like, crazy relationships. Let's be, you let, guys let's, would that's fantastic, but that's it. an exception to the rule. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is I understand what she's saying as well is, honestly, it just it also depends on the person. Like We can't use exceptions to make the rule. Okay, well. That's, that's going to be, like... <laughs> That, that's, that's just a terrible example. Who makes the rules. the rules then? You, the the I'm, men? No, I'm going off of numbers. I'm going. This is biology. See, here we go. Going off yeah, of facts exactly. here. I gave you statistics. Did you hear SS Karen? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, facts. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you tell okay. me how many OnlyFans relationships last that long and what percentage? Like, that's that, why you I don't, don't have, have data on that. It's like, because it's I rare. I want a husband that wants to take me seriously, but I also want to do Okay, so you're proving. Like, there it is. She just said, that's why I don't have OnlyFans, because I want a husband who's going to take me seriously. There you go. Right. Even in her own delusion, she drops a nugget she of truth. She apparently knows that the more sexual partner she has, the less likely she is to find a husband of value. This is why when you ask women, what's your body count? It's always, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you said, nope. <laughs> Uh, Bink the, wow, Bink the Batusai, the Batusai, $5, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, says, late to the party, but I was thinking during this episode, I can't wait for Donovan to break this down. Well, you got your wish, my friend, because we're doing it. Pee on even, you. I mean, OnlyFans is not just for porn, ex. just putting that out of there. Course, oh, of course. Yeah, I was about to say Here that. You can literally go. sell, like, knowledge on that yeah. shit. But she said they're making... There only are plenty fans. of other platforms to sell knowledge on there you that go. aren't known for genitalia. What SS Karen just said was that, like, like what she just said is the equivalent of, I, I, I read Playboy for the articles. Yeah. That's what she said. Making content as in, I'm assuming sexual? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, of oh, course. Yeah. Well, there but they're, they got married, they're, like, literally six years. Now they're married. I have another one who were, like, 10 years. Like, literally, they have two daughters, kind of. One that's one. fantastic. And it works. But, and it but, really but that's, does that's, work. That's, that's, that's a gross exception to the rule. We can't use okay, exceptions so to the rule. I have a question. What if, Wait, like... hold on. I just want to finish what okay, you were saying. Okay, um, And then also talking about the patriarchy, there is not one matriarchy that has stood the test of time. So, I mean, nope. I, I don't know what you meant to say by that. Uh-oh. Just being honest. It's the truth. That's a fact. This is funny. This is fucking hilarious. A matriarch in a family is just important as... Uh, 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 not, it's not as important, but is important what, in a family structure. Right, but what Myron is talking about is a matriarchy that has ruled the land. That's never happened. Watch. Name one matriarchy that's the test of time. Yeah. Crickets. I, mean, I probably could, but I... It, it, tell I me. could if I wanted Ma to, but I don't one. have history. Just one. The reality is that there is no... <laughs> ACP was playing the cricket sound, too. I probably... <laughs> Listen to this woman. She says, I could, but I probably could. It's, it's the truth. Watch. That's a fact. Watch, watch, watch. watch. Name one matriarchy that's the test of time. I expected her to say Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Crickets. I, mean, I probably could, but I. It, it, tell, me. Take, <laughs> like, tell me. One. Just tell one. me one. Tell me. Just give me one. The reality is that there is no matriarchy to the test of time because they're nope. all destroyed by men. Nope. And yep. I'm not saying that to say men are better than women. I'm just simply no, saying men that. Men destroyed the history oh. behind it so that oh nobody my. knew. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, oh my, God. my God. This is it. This is this is misandry 101. Oh my god. You can never you, you this is you can't tell this woman anything. You understand? Yeah. Can you imagine being this woman's No. I I I absolutely So it's all know. buried in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the the history of woman. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Uh, Rolla Tomasi in the chat says, imagine having this conversation with these chicks in a Miami club. Um, mm -mm. Rolo, dude, I like myself. Dude, like, honestly, like, this makes me want to shoot myself in the face. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. They destroyed the matriarchy then. They destroyed them and destroyed their history. Yeah, me. If so they, they did not st stand the test of time, which is what I asked. Yeah. <laughs> so that proves Myron's point even further. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay. And I'm, there I'm it is. There it is. Touche. Another checkmate. How many times has she check has he has he checkmated this chick? I, about nine, I think. So. Uh, somewhere around there. Uh, Malik Dien, five dollars says SS Karen needs a gold medal for those Olympic caliber straw men arguments. If Fresh wants you kicked out, you know it's bad. City boys, we up. Very good comment here by Black Lemur 2009. He said, somehow this broad knows the lost history. Yeah, that's what I was thinking to myself when I was watching this the first time. Okay, the history was destroyed, but you know what it is? Like, how do you know what this is? Uh, Mr. J, $20 Super Chat, says it is time to drop the beat. 
Can she stop arguing? Nope. Is she being foolish? Yep. Has she, is she winning arguments? Nope. Does she blame everything on men? Yep. Will she shut up? Nope. Will they find a high value man? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Very good, Mr. J, dropping the beat. <laughs> by the way, uh, Devin heard uh, Choices by E40 for the first time uh, the other day. The Could yep. I get through the whole song? Nope. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to watch the whole thing. <laughs> I couldn't. You're supposed to watch the whole thing. Um, Ice Dragon Kid on the YouTube side says, this is why Myron is balding. Yep. I'm not saying that they to be an the asshole. That's, that's a fact. Time, but that is like, a fact. Yeah. It stood I the mean, test of their time. She wants to argue everything. I guess. That is a fact. It, like, since the beginning of... This woman thinks that the Amazon was founded by women. Yes. Yes. Uh, and she thinks that woman was Mackenzie Bezos. And that Cleopatra founded Egypt. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is how, like, <laughs> uh, like honestly, like, like there are some intelligent women who think the way she thinks. No, this this woman is as dumb as a Michelin tire. Mm. Like she's making stupid arguments. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Of time, men have been the hunters, the gatherers, the leaders, etc. And the way societies work since, since the beginning of time is men lead and women follow. And we sent to, tend to be in this crazy clown world where we think. We well, you know what men and women are equal. You know, women just do whatever you want. Men do whatever you want, and it is what it is. And that, that's great. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have, uh, you know, anarchy, but the United Why States. Why would we have anarchy if everybody was equal? Please explain that. When I say equality, I mean within the confinements of relationship, men have roles and women have roles. There you go. I'm not saying that men are better than women, and they don't. Why they are deserve... the rules not equal? Men and women are not the same. So the rules aren't equal? You have we're, different rules? We're right back to the Can beginning. I say something Where real quick? Started. Have you ever noticed uh -oh. like certain jobs? I would never be in this relationship. All right. Oh, Sweetheart, nobody. <laughs> let, let, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let, let me rewind that. Think real quick. Yes. Have you ever noticed like certain jobs? I would never be in this relationship. Oh my God. This woman does not have relationship prospects. Like who's checking for this broad? Stay nope. puff. Stay puff. <laughs> <laughs> How many dating options does this chick have? Nope. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rollo in the chat says, well, what about the Amazons in ancient Greece, huh? Princess Diana grew up in a matriarchy with no men before she came, before she became Wonder Woman. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Ostrike $5 says, it's a moot point if men destroyed the history because stand the test of time equals... Still around. She needs to go back to English class. Yeah, she needs to go back to school because this woman is literally stupid. Uh, Black Lemur 2009 says, so this is what they mean by dumb blondes. Yeah, dude, like this woman is like, like seriously, like this woman is as dumb as a street sign, like real talk. All right, so I'm going to tell you real quick. Certain uh -oh. jobs like back then, like probably about, I'm talking about like a decade back, probably even more than a decade back. Wait, 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 wait. There was certain jobs back then. Like a decade back? Um, are we talking about like like last week? Or are we talking like building the Hoover Dam and well, the railroads and Well well this is this is this is why this is why we know these girls are young because she said back in the day, like ten years ago. Yeah, way back in the two thousands. By the way, Dev and I, uh, we went out for dinner on New Year's Eve yeah, in yeah. Center City. Mm -hmm. And do you wanna know what we did? We had coffee, coffee. <laughs> after dinner. We are getting old. It you was know, years you you know you're old when you have coffee. But after we had dinner. a bomb dessert. Oh, oh the dessert was the crazy. Dessert. Uh, <laughs> Rolla Tomasi says, "Congratulations, you're too stupid to be on Fresh and Fit." Yep. Jesus fucking Christ. Certain jobs that men could do, and certain jobs that since men were able to do that because uh -huh. it was based off on their strength. Uh -huh. And Listen. exactly of like what the ability they can actually withstand. Certain women couldn't do that. They would literally tell women, "Here we go. You can't, can't hire you for this job. You're not strong enough. Oh, you're not a man." There's certain things that you'll actually notice that within time it's changed, but it's not really changed. Men Maybe they're giving, the same. Like, they're I giving mean, more opportunity, but not a lot. We're not like I get that. we're we're different. We're different and better at certain things. We're designed to complement each go. other. There's things a man can do that a woman can't. And Ostrike on the YouTube side says you can tell she thinks she's smarter than she thinks she is. Yes, um, 
Jay Blaze says, Wonder Woman 1984 was man-hating. Well, dude, I didn't have to watch that to figure that out. Uh, Jay Blaze 11 on the Sharpstream side. I'm sorry, Dre Raven on the Sharpstream side says, A decade back, LOL, what like before time from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, right? Jay Blaze 11 on the Sharpstream side said, uh, Men have 94% fatality rate in jobs compared to women. Absolutely. It's vice versa. I'm not here to tell you men are better than women. It's just that we're better at certain things. There we go. I think what you're you're listening with your feelings and not with with logic here because I'm just stating facts and you're getting yeah. angry at facts. Like there is no matriarch at the test of time. Men are far <laughs> superior warriors. That's why they were able to kill women off. And you know there is no matriarchy. Uh -oh. Women need men to survive. It's only in modern day times that women have been able to coexist yeah. without men. Like you know because we only only in first world countries, only in only in first world countries do women like this exist. Yeah. Okay. If 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 the poor and I think Myron actually points this out, the poor a country is, the the closer men and women adhere to traditional gender roles. I agree. Yeah, if she spent two hours a day going to fetch water, I don't think she would have time to be even thinking about <laughs> what's fair. Yes, I'd be like, I'm glad I got some clean water, man. You feel like, me? Yeah, like this isn't. And if she put, if she spent two hours fetching water, chances she are she wouldn't look like it. probably. Yes, yeah, you. <laughs> two you, birds, one stone. You beat me to it. Yes, yeah. Well, all this technology that men created. So I think a patriarchy's created a very comfortable life for you to be able to come here on a podcast and argue with me about how there's a patriarchy. <laughs> the, patriarchy been, the reason why you've been able to live a very comfortable for this is so funny. All these girls know. All these girls know. My is fit life facts. With technology. Look at fresh, dude. Fresh, dude. Fresh is done. He's not here for it. Mm -mm. He is ready to say nope lights, food, electricity, etc. It's also the history that they teach. So like we don't actually know any of those like but like Black Lemur said, and you do. How long have you been alive? How long have you 31 been alive? 31 years. Okay. So 29. in those 31 years, mm -hmm. like the history is from somebody else's books. Sorry. Yeah, I mean the education Education system is pretty. Uh, this is this is like at this point, this is getting cringe. You want to know why? Because we know that the she doesn't have anything substantive to add. All she's doing is giving clever, plucky one-liners. Well, this wasn't in the histories. This wasn't in the history books. This is according to history is his story. Oh my god! And then I has nothing. That. Yeah, and then she has nothing to back it up. Pretty much run by women. So I mean, I I don't know what, <laughs> you know, majority of the teachers. <laughs> Fresh is already thinking about hitting the club later on. That's where his mind he's is like, at. He's like, we're all getting dumber for this one. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, our, our women, the education system is run by women. The universities nowadays are run by women. Uh-oh. Still, there's uh -oh. Not any, any matrix. Is, that's the test you mean, you're talking about teachers? Yeah, but they're giving a curriculum on what to follow. It's not like they come every day and be like, oh, we're going to teach you this because we want to teach you this. So no, why, they, they're why giving they a them? curriculum. What does that mean? Job. What the fuck? They got to pay bills. No, so they're following I mean, men, right? I mean, just we're, we're, we're getting off topic here. The, the point is, is that men and women are not the same. When it comes to, like, obviously human rights, privileges, yes. accesses, you know, of course. Black Lemur says she sounds like one of those dumb conspiracy theorists. Yep. We're, we're equal. But when it comes to, like, certain biological traits, and with, especially within the confinements of relationships, oh, here we, we not go. the same whatsoever. And it's even shown from what, what we're attracted to. I literally just proved earlier, men are not attracted to the same things that you are. As a matter of fact, you don't even look for someone that's equal to you. You look for someone that's superior to you. You want a man that's taller than you, stronger than you, more confident than you. Thinner than you. It's what were you going to say? The best she can hope for is a man that's equal to her. That's at best. Yeah. At best. Et cetera. Where's so you're best? not even looking for an equal. So let's stop with it. Dre Raven says, can she spell curriculum? No, I don't think so. And that's two R's. Curriculum. Bullshit. Let's be honest. A curriculum. Women are not looking for equals. You're looking for a superior. Yep. Yes, daddy. You. <laughs> Ooh, yo, I heard that. I mean, call her daddy. Right, I'm, I'm not. Did this bitch really just call Myron daddy? Mm -hmm. Wow. See, now we got girls just outright shooting their shots. See, listen. Uh, uh, truck stop Ariana Grande, dude. She would have eight of Myron's kids right now if he if 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 uh, if he would let her. Real talk. Here to like just talk shit. Like I'm just. Uh, these are all st statistical facts, man. Like, and I don't even. I don't even. I don't even point out statistical facts. I get all of the data that I talk about on my show, it's empirical data. And a lot of our detractors like to say, well, that's you. Have you dated all women? No, I have not dated all women. But millions of men have the same stories. That's why That's why communities like this exist. That's why channels like this, that's why Myron's channel has a half a million subscribers and counting. 
because these women are verifying everything we've been talking about here in this community for the last decade and a half. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to add. color, yeah. Yeah, right. It's it is. actually worse than I thought. <laughs> it's one thing to hear stories. It's another thing to see it and actually devolve right in front of your eyes. Have you actually watched my breakdowns of Fresh and Fit, or is this the worst one you've ever no, seen? No, I mean, I'm just you speaking in context. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What it is. Anything? I'm good. I, I don't know. I don't know statistics, honestly. I yeah, no. I, we know. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> and, and, and I'd be well, happy. I would never. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> he said, yeah, we know. Be in any of those relationships. So, like, I don't know. The and that's fine. She wears if other people, on. like, understand that, yeah. like, I don't gotcha. know. If that's, that's cool. your world, that's crazy. But, like, more power to you if you want to be controlled. I mean, that's oh, just here's here the thing. Here we go. Here we go. Fantastic. You might not want to be in a traditional relationship, and that's great for you. But what I am saying. Here's where things really start to go off the rail. Sith Lord Entertainment, $20, says, this is Karen, does not need to worry about paying or not paying to get in the club. Beluga's so wide, she wouldn't be able to, quote, fit in, even if she tried. Yeah, she can't fit in. She's not fitting in anywhere. So if I lined up 100 women, I would argue Here we about go. 90 to 95 of them would want a traditional relationship where the man leads. And that's why I'm, you know, just recruiting women to just fuck off. Like, yeah, that's no, fine. No, that's fine. No and way. that's your that's Be your opinion. Team. But you got to remember. so much like better. Can, merch. You got to remember. Like, you can't attribute your personal decisions and what you there like, etc., to there the you majority. Go. But I'm you speaking are. For the majority. Literally. That's that's literally what you're saying. You, you're you saying you're speaking to the majority because there's, like, 17 people saying one. So based it's actually off of no, no, over no, 5,000. It, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, 17 people. He's like, no, it's... It's over 5,000. Uh, there you said. Actually. Well, she said she did Dude, this woman can't spell statistics. <laughs> it's not based off of statistics. Statistics. So statistics. For you. Uh oh. She just said, what's it based off for you? Mm -hmm. That's the first time she's spoken, I think. Yeah, she actually has a pretty docile voice. Let's see. This is when the tide starts to turn, when the uh, girls are okay. like, yes, yes, yes. If it's not. Say that one more time. Oh, did you hear Fresh the Sniper? <laughs> did you hear Fresh the Sniper? Listen, listen, listen. Hold up. Watch this. This is funny. <laughs> so earlier you said it's not based off of statistics. So what is it based <laughs> off of statistics. for you? If it's not. <laughs> feelings. Fresh said feelings. Say that one more time. Feelings. What is it? Based there it is. He got her like again. Everybody, like there is, nobody's putting these polls together that say like, oh, you know, guys want to be controlling and girls yes. want to be controlled. Yes. Here we like, go. find me a, a, a global poll on this because I think girls are fighting for their fucking freedom. In I was, I was very, not I was controlled. very explicit when I said it's fighting for their fucking freedom. Bitch, you live in a first world country where, dude, white women in America live the best lives of any class of human on the planet. And this ham planet has the audacity to say women are fighting for their fucking freedom. She ever been to Darfur? Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? Somalia. She's This woman has dude, this woman has no this woman has no fucking If clue. anything, she's she has too much freedom. Yes. <laughs> yes. She can't limit herself and she she's like a child who doesn't know what's gonna hurt her yes 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 um coach greg adams says uh women are children with breasts uh and i That's, and i agree i don't like that it's weird so it's true you guys are women you guys are children with breasts you were acting like a fucking kid today yes you were and what are your what are what's on your chest breasts it's not about controlling women. It's about being in control of fighting for their fucking freedom of your preferences and not allowing certain behavior. There's a big difference there. And so what not do you just prefer? Having Someone communication and you know, like. Let me rewind this. I want to make this. I want to make this. Dis I want to make this very, very clear. I'm just, just listen to this. So earlier you said it's not based off of statistics. just listen. So what is it based <laughs> off? Of statistics. If it's not say that one more time. Statistics. What is it? based individuality uh, like everybody like there is nobody's putting these polls together see individuality what she is saying dev is she's saying all men can't think like myron my men like myron and that's what the, that, that's what uh britney griner tried she tried to put me in a box well not all men think like him 
all men are different and they're half right, but they're also very wrong. When a woman, when women like this say every man is different, what they are trying to imply is that there are some high status men who don't mind uh, their women going to bars or clubs or keeping in contact with their ex-boyfriends or traveling alone without them or putting their relationship at risk every day without thinking about it. There are some men who are turned on by women who go and shake their ass at the club, who do twerk videos on Instagram. That is 100% false. Yes, every man is different. Some men prefer redheads, some men prefer blondes, some men prefer brunettes, some guys like white girls, some like Asian girls. We all have surface level differences in terms of what gets our motor running. But fundamentally, every man, and I mean every single man, fundamentally wants the same things in a woman. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me, don't cheat on me, remain feminine, docile, etc. There, there, there is nothing, there is nothing fundamentally that a man wants in a woman from man to man. Yes, surface level, maybe some features are a little bit different, but fundamentally, we don't want women who are hoes. And that's what she's trying to, when she says every man is different, well, some men like hoes. No, men don't like hoes. The only reason why men wife up hoes or get in relationships with, in relationships with hoes is because that's what's out there. Your thoughts? She's trying to live in the margins, as you would yes. say. Like, like, for example, yep. you know, you're in typing class and you need a one inch margin on each side mm -hmm. and she's trying to make hers three quarters of an inch. Yes. She's, but, but this is what I like. Yes. This is my margin. There are standards. Yep. You know, and, yep. and, and she, what she's trying to say is that she, she's an individual, so everybody's an individual, so nothing can apply to everybody. Right, and, yes. right. And she's right to a point. Nothing can apply to everybody. 100%. 100% right. surface level. But fundamentally, fundamentally, every woman wants to be a guy who makes more than she does, who is preferably taller, higher value. Fundamentally, all women want to date up. Maybe some women like taller guys. Some guys. Some women like black guys. Some men like some. Some women like white guys. Some women like guys who are athletic. Some women like guys who are body. They all have different preferences in terms of we're all different. Fundamentally, women want men who are superior to them in just about every way. Fundamentally, men want women who don't engage in promiscuous activities. That's what that is. This is all just a battle of semantics. I oh, think. wow, yeah. Because yeah. if you put that the same way where you didn't use the word superior, mm -hmm. she'd probably agree with you. Well, you know, well, so uh, this is just another, she's a head case of it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Oh, it's Jesus. not what you say, it's yeah. how it makes me feel. Right, if you said right, right, it right. another way, I might agree with you. I'll tell you what, if I make a point, if I say men are superior to women and then stuff a ding dong in her mouth, do you think that would shut her up? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think she would agree. Yeah, that say like, oh, you know, guys want to be... Osterite, $5, says you might be fat turning sideways. I'm sorry, you might be fat when turning sideways makes it harder to fit through the gap. Oh, boy. Oof, body blow. Controlling, and girls want to be controlled. Like, find me a, a, a global poll on this, because I think... And even if we found her a global poll, she still wouldn't... Okay, Dev, Devin, look at me. This is the part, this is the part of our job where you're going to have to push through. I know it's hard to watch this, but this is the job. Hmm. This is, hey, this is the job. Okay. All right. I'm on board. Let's, bu let, let's, uh, let's buck up. There it is. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Look at her. No. <laughs> Girls are fighting for their fucking freedom. I was, I was very, not I was very explicit when I said it's not about controlling wow. women. It's about being in control of your preferences and not allowing certain behavior. There's a big difference. She places all that, all that is dairy from all that ice cream. God damn. So and what not do you just prefer? Having Someone communication and you know, like secure. God, I haven't had a ding dong in a while, man. Wait a minute, that came out wrong. Security <laughs> in the relationship that you can do what you, you want to do. I meant the chocolate treats. The oh my god. Okay, never mind. Screw it. A, a, a ho ho. We're not going into the snack food wars. No. Oh my god, dude. Ding dongs, Stop. ho hos, mm -mm. snowballs, <laughs> and have your mental health and your freedom. Strawberry Twinkies. <laughs> and go out with your you girls. Your freedom. Oatmeal cream pies. And yeah, exactly. But you said that you can't even go with you can't even what go out with your saying, friends. What so saying. how do you see your friends? Again, you can't even go out with your friends. Again, nobody's trying to control you, bitch. Wait, wait. Do your friends? You got something. Friends no. always have to come to the house. That's Here's the thing. I'm telling you that I'm in control of my reality, and I have certain behaviors that I don't like. And I'm telling you how men generally feel about this. 
And a lot of guys. I've never have met a, one that told me I wasn't allowed to do something. Well, live in Miami. because men can't be honest with women. Because if yeah. they do, they get this type of response. Right. Bingo. I don't want you. I well, like again, we this is Miami. why guys can't be honest. Because if they are honest, they get this type of response. There you go. He's a very I'm having ugly a very ugly person. Like just an ugly person. I think that's obvious. Not. Not just the way that she looks, but the way that she talks and the way that she yeah. treats people. Yeah. It's just yeah. very distasteful. It is. And women who look like her usually have the redeeming quality of actually not being a bitch. But this woman, this woman is nasty. She's condescending. She she acts like she's smarter than she is. You can't like she could get away with this if she looked like truck stop Ariana Grande, but she doesn't, yet she still looks like this. Do you think this woman, you've heard of an ugly duckling, right? Yeah. Is she the opposite, possibly, of an ugly duckling? No. I think she's always tried hard to fit in. You think she's always been chubby? She's feeling like she's lucky to be there, but now she's feeling out of place because she doesn't fall in line with what he's saying. That's n So now she realizes she's sticking out like a sore thumb, so now she has to double down. She's sticking out like a sore thumb because she is, she is plus-sized. And she's disgusting. Like her attitude yeah. is gross. Her attitude like, sucks. You can see the other women leaning away from her. Like, yeah. Oh like, yes. Ew. Yeah. And yeah. it's not. You know. Yeah. I mean, put her in Ariana Grande's body, and that same attitude would still come off as like, ugh. You know. Yeah, like, you're right. You're right. Like it's just disagreeable, and ugh. It's just it's not someone you want to. be. I'm surprised Myron could even sit that close to her because I would. It's just ugh. Uh, Street Fighter 88 says arguing in bad faith. Yeah, she's arguing in bad faith, which is what most of these women do. Uh, Hellfong on the Sharp Stream side says SS Karen doesn't know these guys because she ate them. <laughs> wow. Uh, Isaac Landis, member for six months, says Happy New Year's, guys. Sorry I'm late. I'm here now. Appreciate that. Age of Machines, $5 super chat, says OMFG, that woman is impossible to deal with reason with or deal with her delusion makes intimacy impossible because she doesn't know men and now we have started now we have started the wars i've got zebra cakes i've got many oh my god many chocolate donuts nutter butters honey buns chocolate frosted cupcakes that's arguing in bad faith right there the reason i can talk about these things is because i've eaten 150 grams of protein and if i really want to succumb to any sort of uh I've got protein bars right next to me. This is 16 grams of protein, so I'm good to go. You got your chicken chips? I, I got my chip. Dude, I got my chicken chips. I got my chicken chips here. I eat chips and oops, I eat chips and candy bars all day. The chips are chicken chips and then the candy bars no, you are protein. Don't. Bars. I make you breakfast, I make you bacon, I make you eggs, I make you steaks. Not all day. Just when uh, I'm not looking is when you eat that stuff. I think I'm going to do a hamburger patty with a lot of uh, cheese tonight. I, I think can I'm do that, have that for, for you. dinner. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's continue. Very rational. I think that they're being logic. honest about, you know, like you being allowed to go and do your own thing. Watch. This is funny. What? And then come together in an honest relationship. Where oh, Johnny Green. Uh oh. Gansitos. Penguinos. Butterscotch crumpets. Oh, but Star Crunch. Oh, my God, you guys. Peanut butter cream pies. Jesus fucking Christ. Banana. Okay, I believe right, you went stop. and did what you said you did. I don't have to check up and be paranoid or any of that. Oh, so just trust that she's not a hoe. Hmm? This is the problem with women. This is the problem with modern women. They think they're under the impression that they don't have to earn a man's trust. No. Law number five of the 49 Laws of Sharp specifically states that she is a slut until proven otherwise. And the reason we know this is because most women sleep around indiscriminately. You don't get the benefit of the doubt from men anymore. Is that crazy to assume, Dev? Mm -mm. So why is this woman acting like she just, everyone is, like, like women don't sleep around indiscriminately all the time? This woman couldn't get laid if she wanted to indiscriminately. I don't think so. I don't think so either. So, yeah. you know, I don't, I think that she just finds it impossible that her man would think that she would be huge. She would be cheating on him when, you know, like, she's not, if she... If she was a very good looking woman and knew and got, actually got hit on when she went out, then I think like she would understand what he's oh. trying to say. But 
when she goes out with her girlfriends, they're probably all just as big, if not bigger, than she is. No, I don't think so. She's... I think she has. I think she has hot friends, you and that's so? why she's pissed. Yeah, she's the mother hen. Uh, I think okay, she okay. she has hot friends because she wants to get access to hot guys. But the problem is, hot guys aren't checking for her. No? Hot guys are checking for her friends. And now she's really mad. And again, and again, the three qualifications for women who are this misandrist. They are either past the wall, they are they are grossly overweight, or they have kids. In any case, high value men don't check for them. Yeah. When high value men don't check for women, that's when you become this woman. Even 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 truck stop Ariana Grande, she's freaking batshit crazy. But guess what? Dudes are still trying to get at her because she's young and pretty. But this woman is not sexually desirable at all. Not and at the all. and the typical American Canadian feminist. Look like this because guys don't want them. And I bet you the day she meets a man who checks all her boxes and he just says, hey, babe, I'm not comfortable with you going out to the club for your girl's bachelorette party. Would you mind skipping that one? She'd be like, sure, honey. No problem. Not, why are you controlling me? You know what I mean? She would actually want to sacrifice some of her own feelings to keep the man that she wants around. And right. And right now, she's starting to act like a selfish, entitled bitch who has nothing to lose. Language. Excuse me. But has, who has nothing to lose. When she has something to lose, something's on the line, mm -hmm. she's going to change that behavior. How could? How are we going to find such a man? <laughs> hey, man, this is fantasy land. Like that. Clearly. His clearly, name is this Schrodinger. Is... He lives in that box <laughs> over there. stupid Schrodinger. <laughs> it's not about being paranoid. It's about having standards. Bingo! See what that? Saying is you could There's the shaming language. Oh, being paranoid. No, this is not about being paranoid at all. This is about a man proactively. See, here's the thing. When you take on the responsibility, every it, it, listen, we, we tell guys, listen, you got to be a leader. You have to be dominant. She has to be submissive. Okay, we get that. Okay. But in order to be those things, you have to be able to protect a woman from herself. And being able to protect a woman from herself is being able to lay down the edicts. I don't date women who go to bars or clubs, who are on social media, who travel alone, et cetera, et cetera. If she does not want to adhere to that, then she does not like you as much as either you or her even think she does. But you can't, like, women cannot be trusted to protect themselves. Women are on autopilot. Their default setting is self-destruction. Am I wrong, Dev? You are not wrong. Wow, you said that with some with some vigor. Oh yeah, I know. I I used to live on that mode. Uh huh. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Choose the relationship you want to be in. Yeah, yeah that's of all course. he's saying. But he, yeah. And so if you don't want to be controlled, just don't be in that yeah, relationship. See, there we go. See, the girls are starting to turn. Look, look, look. But he's well, trying so to like yeah, say that everybody wants yeah. to be look, controlled. Leave. He's saying like, right. He has a, a set of standards, and you can choose to do what you want to do. You can go out with your friends and have fun. <laughs> he's just saying when you come back home. I'm not gonna be there because like <laughs> the you sniper. Can do you want to do it's, it's true. It's true freedom. You got a choice to but make. But is he and he's allowed? And he said the rules change, so he's allowed to go out with his friends. He's allowed to be here at the podcast with all these girls. But like, she just has to sit home and like what? Men and women well, are not the totally same. different. When you go out, it's different from when he goes out. Yeah. That being what? said, I think you're a plant, bro. Wait, what? You're a plant. Nah, you're a plant. <laughs> I think you're a plant, man. You think she's a plant? Oh, no, because say that again? men and women are not the same. If I go to the nightclub, here right, we go. Here as we a go. Guy, uh huh. I can have ten thousand in my pocket. A Lamborghini, okay. looking great. Or if you're Macklemore, twenty dollars in your pocket. So wait, so she just compared him working from home, having women in his home to make a living, right? To going out at the to club. Going what? Yeah, right. That's again just like Street Fighter eighty eight said. So you're allowed to this, sit here with all these girls, that's, and she's got to sit at home. Right. This is arguing. This is in my bad, house. Right. This is arguing in bad faith. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, make any yeah. sense. No, that makes perfect sense. But again, look at this. Just look at the smug look on her. She actually looks even heavier with this look <laughs> on her face, Giga doesn't Karen. she? Yeah, Giga. Yeah, yeah. This is whoa. Knight Commander with the five uh, euro super chat says she is the new Giga Gagatron variant. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she is uh boy, that's that is uh that is a large that is a large uh that is a large uh woman. That's she's yeah, she is very Great. large. Amazing. Crush. Say who wants to fuck? Girls are still gonna be like, even if she, they like me, take me on a date, nigga. Girl yep. goes in. Not that hot. 
not that attractive. Lot Who wants shit. to fuck? Everybody going to come running. There it is. We are not the same. You no. get certain accesses and privileges that I will never get and vice versa. It just so happens this is one of those double standards. Do you see how it makes sense to her? You can see it's, it's like, listen. Now, <clears throat> Karen, the uh, uh, the SS Karen, the SS Karen, uh, she's definitely, she's she's as dumb as a, as a school desk, right? But even she can understand this. Um, uh, uh, it, Johnny Green says she looks like a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Yeah, she does, actually. Yeah. I like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, dude. Yeah, he that was, was my so guy. happy. He was awesome. He I love them when he get lit, lit on fire and he gets all angry. He's like, face. Oh, I my love God, it. that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. That doesn't benefit? You know your old win, right? Wait a minute. What happens when a double standard doesn't benefit women? <laughs> New Horizons says Karen's you, now a variant. What? When you saw that in the theater. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Put a one in the chat. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you saw Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters. Put a one in the chat if you saw Ghostbusters in the theater. In the theater. Put a one in the chat if you saw Ghostbusters in, a, in the theater. I'm not putting a one in the I'm chat. I'm putting a one in the chat because I saw I saw it in the theater. God damn it. I was looking forward to that. And they get mad as fuck. You're controlling. You can't. You can do it and I can't. You can't yes. handle me. So like, yes. if you're in a relationship, do you allow your guy to do anything? Yeah, any of my partners can do whatever the fuck they want as long as we talk about it. And I you want to know why her partners can do whatever the fuck they want? Why? Look at her. Of course they're going to do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> you think a dude is going to listen to her? Yeah, really. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I'm okay with it yeah, at the time. But this is the thing. Not like, everybody wants to talk so about certain is, things like that. They're yeah. going to think it's common sense. Uh -oh. No, this is like a whole community but I, I of love that, over here. But I we don't do like, all that. I could go out with my friends once, what, every That's what I'm months. saying. Like, common sense. Like, like that's how nah, I would think as a person. I'm not going to go out every weekend with my friends if I got a man at home, clearly. But if I want to go out with my friends once every four months, like, why I got to, why I can't have no man? I'm not saying that. I know, it's but about, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. telling you guys. I don't know why you guys have such an issue with me telling you the truth. <laughs> this is great. What are you I'm talking about? I've been understanding this whole time. No, I'm, well, I, can, I can see you guys are kind of triggered. Like, <laughs> I'm simply saying, <laughs> if you left the man to his own devices, he would prefer his girl not go out to the club and there be scoured go. by a bunch of fucking random horny guys at a nightclub uh -huh. that are trying to smash her. There are plenty I mean, of play. men that get turned on by their women being looked at. No. There are plenty of men who get turned on by their women getting looked at. Yeah, you want to know what those guys are called? They're called cucks. How would she know? The reason why she thinks this is, see, again, what, what SS Karen is doing, she's, she doesn't realize that sexual attraction is asymmetrical, right? She likes it when girls want to fuck the guy she's with. She thinks that's hot. That's pre-selection. But now she's telling us that our girl being pre-selected is also hot. Dude, sweetheart, every, dude, most men would fuck most women, while most women wouldn't fuck most men. This is exactly why the roles of pre-selection are reversed. A guy isn't turned on when other guys want to fuck his girl. It doesn't work the same way. Jesus Christ, you got to be kidding me. I mean, cucks. That's true, though. Yeah, cucks. I mean, cucks, right? Uh, oh, there it is. No, cucks. They know that their woman is attractive and that other men appreciate art. Okay, most... I don't know who... I don't know who is smashing this woman. I don't know who's smashing this woman. Like, look at the look on her face. Appreciate art. This is what a liberal art degree will get you. This is, this is a PhD... This is it. This is a PhD oh my God. in women's studies looking right at you. That's it. That's it. Uh, Big Brandon in the chat for the first time in a while. So, so, um, so it's just a tip to all the guys out there. If you ever see get caught looking at an attractive woman, just tell tell your girlfriend you were just looking at art. Oh, Jesus fucking right? Christ. Um, Big Brandon says that he saw Ghostbusters the opening weekend had the damn computer video game. Dude, real talk. I'm telling you, man, these young bloods don't know nothing about Oregon do Trail. Remember, do you remember the um, the Ghostbusters cartoon? Oh, yes. Yeah. And Slimer was uh -huh. like the main character. Oh, yes. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. And I April. remember Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. April. Oh, no, that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that was, yeah, oh, that was I, Teenage Mutant I got my, my 80s cartoons mixed up. That's okay. Um, it, it, put a one in the chat if you ever played Oregon. You don't know what my favorite computer game Oregon was? Trail. Uh, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? I remember that. Yeah. God, I, I loved Carmen Sandiego. I was going to marry her. 
Do you remember the game where it was just like a like the carrot like on the six on the keyboard and it was a bunch of zeros and you had to go back and forth as the zeros fall? And oh, it was I like, know what you're talking about. It was like about. asteroids, but yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, 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 all, yeah. it was just with characters. Like, wow, that's I, I taking know what you're talking back. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There uh, was no name for that game. It was just it was just random code that was yes. free. That you I could remember. Just play. I remember football on Atari. It was like it was revolutionary when we played it. Uh, the voice would be like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, that do sounds you, just like a crowd. Do you bro. remember the boxing when it was like three circles <laughs> with like a little nose, and you had to like get like oh my god, like like off centered and oh my to god, punch him in the nose. Love it, love it, <laughs> dude. Those were the listen, man. Those were the classics. Those were the cl- man, dude. I'm an '80s kid, man. I dude, I grew up on. I grew up. Uh, you guys know, man. I grew up on NES. I grew up on Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Motherfucking Contra, Tecmo Bowl, those are the classics. Dude. Back when, like, a pixel was a quarter of an inch. <laughs> a quarter of an inch. <laughs> dude, look at those. And then the Sega Genesis came out, and we were like, oh, my God, this is the game to end all games. Alt- dude, Altered Beast. Dude, Gradius, Herzog's Way. Mm-hmm. John Madden Football. Dude, yeah, Madden. Rest in peace. Oh, my. Yeah, dude. Yeah, rest in peace, John Madden. I remember when Madden 92 came out. I thought it was like, I, I was like, dude. I don't know how it, I, I, I said to my friend, I was like, dude, I don't know how it gets any better than this. <laughs> like, you can actually change the play. Hold on. Instant replay. That was it. That was tech. Dude, that was that was, that was technology then. Madden 92. Holy shit. Geeky Anomaly geeking out with us says, yeah, art like Picasso's Cubist period. <laughs> Um, dude, Kevin is very smart. Uh, New Horizons, $2 so sh- says, so, sh- so she's Jack Murphy's woman. Got it. Uh, D nice five dollars says she was a plant from Melody Parker from the P Star that got fame from the show Kodak Black. Uh, now she said she won't go back on it. Great show, Donovan. Yeah, every bitch says they're not going back to. Um, oh boy, they're coming in. They're coming in. Guardian Galaxy, you better believe it. Contra, Bo. Oh, dude, Bo Jackson. You didn't play Tech Mobile because you're a girl, but Bo yes. Jackson. You did? No, I did not. Bo Jackson is the most unstoppable player on any video game ever. Tecmo Bowl, Bo Jackson. You couldn't stop him. Like, he was, Bo Jackson was unstoppable. And when the computer had him, he was even worse. You could not stop Bo Jackson in Tecmo Bowl. Holy moly. Um, wow. Uh, Castlevania, you better fucking believe it. Oh, yes, NBA Street, Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Boxing, NHL 95. I regret bringing this up. Well, I was gonna bring it up anyway. Okay. I was gonna bring it up anyway. Uh, D Money six nineteen five dollars says I've been waiting on a breakdown on this one. She is spitting image. She is the spitting image of a pure misandrist. She gets worse as this goes on. Invest in Chewy's Chewy bo- Chewy boys. Yeah. Streets of Rage, Double Dragon. Oh my God, dude! Double Dragon two, dude. Do not, dude. Altered Beast power up. He said he forgot Metroid, dude. I'm telling you, man. Those listen, man. I'm trying to tell you. These were when games were the games, dude. See, my parents never let me have a Nintendo. What? Yeah. Like, we had the Atari, you know, and then my cousin had the Commodore 64. Okay, I remember that, yeah. And then, like, like when Nintendo came out, we, we really wanted Nintendo. My parents would not let us have a Nintendo. <gasps> they wanted us to go outside and play. I'd have ran away. So all we did was go over to our friend's house oh, yeah. and play yeah, Nintendo. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. And so, like, I... I really wanted, like, the Game Boy, so I had to save oh, up, yes, like, my yes, own yes. money for, like, six months of, like, birthdays and Christmas. There you go. And I remember I spent $80, like, the biggest purchase of my life. Dude. I bought a Game Boy. And it came with Tetris. It did. Yes. And I used to play. Another classic, I by the way, to, Tetris. I used to just keep it in the bathroom. And uh, I ended up giving it to my little brothers when oh, I there moved you out go. of my house, oh, you there know, you go. after I sanitized it. But. Um, but but that was the thing. Like, we couldn't have that in my house. So by the time I was 11, if I wasn't going to a friend's house to play, I, like, I had lost access to, like, all those fun games that Dude. you were talking about. And then I started gymnastics, so that would took all my free time. And so unless I was at my cousin's house during the summer times, it was when we played Nintendo and, like, Super Mario and stuff. But that was it. Like, that's all we played. Dude, you had a, your childhood was fucked up. I, I know. This is why you I ended know. up, see, this is why but you did, ended up I fucked up. You didn't have, State, so. you didn't, you yeah, see, you didn't have a Nintendo. <laughs> that's like, dude, there, there it is. Buy my own. Listen, listen, Dev, look, look, we've just figured it out. We just buy figured my it out. Own Nintendo, I had to buy my own car. The, like... Listen, listen, listen. Oh, woe is me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We have now figured out what happened with Dev. 
She, we figured it out. She did not have a Nintendo. Dude, if you were a kid that didn't have a Nintendo, you missed out. You missed out before EA and Madden. Uh, J Blaze 11. Yes, Atari 2600 Demon Attack. Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, hold on. They're coming in hot and heavy. That fucking dog on Duck Hunt. <gasps> Ninja the Gaiden. Dog on Duck Hunt. Yes. I remember <laughs> yes, I remember the dog. I remember that. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Duck Hunt was awesome. There he is. There he is. Ah! Unbelievable. Yeah, Ninja <laughs> Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden was very tough. Ninja Gaiden 2 was even. Uh oh. The best all three on Nintendo also beat all Castlevanias on Nintendo. I never beat Castlevania 2. Uh, Sega Genesis, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage. Oh, my God. You guys are bringing it all the way back. Holy shit. Kid Chameleon. Wow. Tetris. Hold on. Hang on a second. Oh, Miss Pac-Man Pong, Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is the best Mega Man. See, boys had a better childhood than girls. Of course we did. You yes. Guys had, like, we had Nintendo. You had He-Man and G.I. Joe's. Dude. and We had Care Bears and My Little Pony. Oh, my God. This is why girls are fucked up now. Blaster Master Cyber Ball. Dude, I played all of these games, dude. Wow, you guys are taking it. See, I told you, man. Like, our audience is not I remember that young. the game. What was I talking? The burgers where you got to go across the thing and build the hamburgers. Uh, I don't remember that game. Oh. But remember what I was talking to you about when we uh, headed to Rite Aid the other day? I was talking to you about the Super Spike V-Ball. Yeah. Whoever Who played Super Spike V-Ball on the four score? Like, I'm, un I'm undefeated in Super Spike V-Ball. I'm the greatest player in Super Spike V-Ball history. Ed and Mike. Ed and Mike. Ed and Mike. Absolutely. GoldenEye 007 on the Nintendo 64. I was always 006, a.k.a. Alec Trevelyan. Holy smokes, the killer. Oh, my God. Okay, all right, all right. Let me, let me. Jesus Christ. Dude, I remember. All, dude, dude, I remember all those games. I remember all of these games. Dude, this shaped the generation. This may be who I am. This may be who I am. Um, Michael T, ten dollars, says, "Yo, I bought a, uh, yo, I brought a couple of courses and I love them. However, I can't finish them. I got an error code on the player. Also, I want and need a one-on-one -on -one consult. Yes, um, Michael T, send a, send an email. Hit. The, are you going to? Yes, go. I got it. Send an email to tsrdonovansharp.com. Tsrdonovansharp.com. We will make you whole again. One-on-one -on -one consults." is something that I might start doing here in the not too distant future. Maybe I've got to really make it structured because my time is it's, it is extremely, extremely limited. I wish I could, I wish I had more time, but I, I really have to make it worth it uh, for me. Yes. Ninja Gaiden was awesome, dude. Oh my God. Ninja Gaiden two was the best devil may cry. Oh my God. Black Wolf Inc. $2. And he says, and we haven't seen the women clap back at her yet. They will definitely start clapping back for sure. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, Uncle Fester's Quest. Sonic the Hedgehog. You better fucking believe it. Oh, my God. N64, WCW, NWO. Uh, dude, I remember uh, I remember WWF Royal Rumble. That was fucking awesome. Oh, my God. Dude, I, dude, I was always Brett the Hitman Hart. Wow. Dude. Plug play, plug plays five dollars says Need for Speed Underground. I remember Need for Speed Hot Pursuit when you could run from the cops. You see, guys, like I used to play video games all the time, but a funny thing happened. I grew up. I grew up. Night Commander five, uh, five euros says if God Himself said this, Karen, and you have to mate to save the world, I'll demand a recount. Nah, son, I got jib. Do, uh, real talk, I would not smash this. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, I could not get it up. James Jordan, $5, says, Remember the hype when NES came out with the Power Glove? Yes! Dude, the Power... Oh, my God. The Power Glove we could use for Mike Tyson's punch-out. Holy shit! You guys are taking it way back. Oh, it was called Burger Time. Oh, Devin's not here. Yes, that was Burger Time. Mega Man X was very good. Soul Calibur was awesome. Oh, Mark LeBrant says he ran an arcade back in uh, the 90s. Wow. Okay. Next level, $2. This killer. It, dude, I love me some killer instinct, dude. Oh, my dude. All of those. Cali West, Contra. Contra is the, dude, Contra is the greatest. Honestly, man, Contra is the greatest Nintendo game of all time. Burger Time is what Burger that time. game was called. Yeah, Burger Time. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Pierre Fitzberg says he always played 006. Absolutely. I, dude, I, oh, my God. Dude, WrestleMania 2000. I remember I played American Gladiators on Nintendo. 
Mr. J, $5, says, no Nintendo means no life. Did you miss out? Yep. Did you have a childhood? Nope. That was directed at you. You had no childhood. Yeah, but I got a strong body from it. I you missed out. Gymnastics. You missed out. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Are you still... Are you still going to sit here and tell me that you are the shape that you are strictly because of what you did when you were younger I and not genetic? I built a solid core. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Awesome. She, she's, she's being tongue-in-cheek. She has, she has fantastic genetics. Uh, uh, Girasama, welcome to Chat Privileges. Oh, my God. And he says Shinobi. Oh, dude. Jesus. Guys. Okay, guys. Oh, dude, I could have this, I could have this conversation forever. Shinobi, dude, Revenge of Shinobi? What the hell was that? Oh, this? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that what you were trying to? Okay, all right. Look at this. Look at Hellfung's gif. That's fucking awesome. Oh, wow. That's Soda Popinski, Super Macho Man. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, all right, all right. This has gone completely sideways. Let's, let's, let's continue. Heterosexual, normal men. Are not okay with that. Oh my God! By okay, never mind. Bionic Commando. That's the last one. What kind of men that, and bro? women. Both Zybots. That's the last one. Stop! Stop! Both look at a female and think that that person is attractive. That doesn't turn you on to know that you have the hottest girl there. No, you fucking idiot. This woman thinks that again. Sexual attraction is symmetrical. It it doesn't turn. If I have a good-looking woman, she turns me on anyway. It does not turn me on if other people want to fuck her. Would you like to know why? Why? Donna? Because if I want to fuck her, I know other guys want to fuck her too. Right. Come on, man. Like, she's acting like, uh. The woman that I'm with, it appears that other guys want to fuck her. Well, I guess I want to fuck her too. No. <laughs> if I'm with a woman, it means I want to fuck her. She's acting brand new here. Have you watched Marco Polo on Netflix? <laughs> you gotta go watch it. your gaze. Why do you say that? I have no clue. That's his that bitch. Ooh. And he don't want to go look at his girl. Like, yeah. Like, understand this, right? And like, you got to remember, he's he with her. Exactly. Being exactly. with her uh -oh, exactly. uh -oh. is a different thing. See, Fresh is about to drop the knowledge. Look, look, look. I get what you're saying because obviously... If she's uh, Samishi says, Donovan, you need a dedicated stream for nerding. I mean, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Dude, like, I've got my Nintendo Switch, dude. I can hook that motherfucker up and... You oh, also my God. have that old school 8-bit um, thing. Remember? Oh, like I sure do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nintendo. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, I got. I got to hook up my Nintendo I Switch. Got, I, I really. Don't have time. I, I actually plugged in the Wii the other day. And, dude, uh, every dude, every time I think, okay, I've got ten minutes to plug this thing up. Something else comes up, but I gotta. I like. I'm gonna start a stream. I'm gonna start a stream where I just play old school. Dude, the NES Advantage. Okay, that's it. I can't. I can't do this anymore, guys. I have to. So now I'm gonna turn this over to Dev because I have to go use the bathroom oh, again to I get can't. this thing off the rails. Yes, you can okay. and you will. All Thank right. you. She's hot, you know, it's attention, but at the same time, it's like, yo, if she's my chick, I don't want her like parading her body like around like that. Like he just saying, for example, you got choice to make. You can it's do whatever so much you more do. confidence to know that you have that chick than to say. Okay, okay. It's one thing if you want your girl to look good. It's another thing if you want to advertise her as being for sale to other men. I think she's confusing these two things. Yes, like when we go out, Donovan likes it when I when I look good. I mean, I want I actually dress up to, so that I look good for him. I don't really care who's looking at me. Okay, he's gonna call that cap, but I really don't. So. You know, I dress to impress my man, and if he says uh, I'm getting attention, and I take his word for it, because I'm not paying attention, because I, I I only have eyes for him. They don't look at my check. You want to do the Lambo? This is no. I mean, <laughs> this is just this is just proves my point that it's we men having standards is considered discrimination, Impossible. but a woman having standards is considered preferences. This is just a I mean, clear I example like of that. Tell him. Keep going. Ah. Body is entitled to their own opinions if that's what you like and that's what you like cool have it if i don't like it then i don't got oh the whole you do you i'll do me argument please all right very good thank uh you. thank you very much for that oh my god oh my god the turbo graphic 16 stop stop please bonk's adventure to be with you exactly that's everybody she doesn't is... want someone to control her Every... i'm gonna cut that we need to cut that clip what clip the clip where we're talking about video games we need to cut that out we, no, no, we need to clip it and put it up. Oh, okay. Yes. I want someone to wear to their own opinion. So, it, it, so again, 
again, truck stop Ariana Grande clearly, truck stop Ariana Grande understands the, she, she, she wants a dominant man. She wants that. She's a ratchet, but she wants a dominant man. She seems to be the only, well, she seems to be the only one who is all in on what Myron is talking about because she, and again, hoes know the game. They really do. Rolling what to wear? Anyone. Yes. I, never I, will that call, I will call daddy and say, Papi, can I wear this? I'm oh. going out with my friends. Can, yes. It's, it's about the respect. Thing. Oh. Here's the oh. thing. You guys exactly. keep saying controlling. Respect. You can't there go is, out. No, there, no, no. no. So I that's make this, why I had to dig. I want to make this very clear. Because there was there no There is no controlling, ladies. Yes. There is no controlling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is no controlling. These women, again, uh, the SS Karen keeps talking about controlling. No, having standards isn't controlling. Having standards is having... Why do you think the SS Karen keeps calling this controlling, even though Myron has now said five times this isn't controlling? Do you think she's doing this to win the argument? Like, what is this? Yeah, I think if she keeps repeating it, she thinks she makes her even writer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ay, 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 ay. Nah. Mr. J with the $10 super set says, it's time. Is she arguing? Yeah. Has she won yet? Nope. <laughs> Does she have the need to be right? Yeah. Will she shut up? Nope. Does she need to stop talking? Yeah. Would you, uh, uh, uh <laughs> would I smash? Nope. Would you? Hell no. Oh, no. No, sir. Next level $10 says, difference is we are independently solid on our choice when we pick a woman. Women, on the other hand, need validation from their little girlfriends to even boast about their potential mate. This is exactly right. Women, and I've, I've talked about this before, Dev. A woman could think that they have what they believe is a high-value guy. But unless they see their friends try to flirt with them or even fuck them or even mention, hey, you're a, your guy's attractive, women start to think to themselves, wait a minute, is he really as attractive as I think he is? Because women are hive-minded creatures. They are waiting to get validated by their friends. How accurate is that? I wonder if this is why some women um, say that they want to try a threesome with their boyfriend. Okay. They want to see if the boyfriend is actually hot enough to get another yes. girl to fuck him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. To to sleep with him. Sleep with him. Okay. So even though like something like that, you don't want to do that in a committed relationship right. because then she's gonna end up. Oh my god, he's not with another girl. And check this out, guys. Check this out. If you're gonna have threesomes. Do it with your side, bitch. Do it with your friends with benefits. Don't do it with your wife or girlfriend, guys. I've done it before. It sucks. Go ahead. Uh, I've yet to, to f hear a story of it ending well. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. You know, but in a sense, like, that might be where that's coming from, is that she doesn't know how to say, okay, I don't know how, does my man still have it? You know, girls aren't checking for him. Maybe I should put it to the ultimate test to see if he's still of high of value enough to get other chicks. There you go. Because if he's not, why would you know? It would kind of be gross. Like, oh, this guy couldn't get laid in a whorehouse. Right. You know? like, right. Girls need to know that their man is still sexually attractive because if she's not signed off on, if she's not signed off on by other women, she starts to question her own women. Like women, you guys don't trust yourselves. You guys trust the hive. And if the hive doesn't sign off on your man, that's when the questions start to creep in. 906 likes, guys. Let's try to get me to 1,000 likes for the algo. It's just that you guys don't like that there's consequences to your actions that are not desirable. There it is. There it is. Myron is echoing my sentiment. It's not about control. The reason why they don't like the fact, and I, and I explained this, on my appearance on Fresh and Fit After Hours, I told Lovely, I said, your problem is that you don't like that there are consequences for your actions. You don't like that. I, I, I told them countless times, I'm not controlling anybody. I can't tell my girlfriend what she can or cannot do. I'm not going to tell you what you can or can't do. But I can control myself. And if you engage in behaviors that put my relationship at risk and risk my investment, I cannot swim with you anymore. That's the problem they have. It is. There's a difference. No one is controlling. I'm simply saying there are consequences to certain behaviors. There you go. I'm not going to take you seriously and give you my commitment. That's right. Which is a sacred resource if you display certain behaviors. And this is how a lot of men feel. It's just that they can't speak like this because if they do, they get shamed, ridiculed, small dick energy, etc. I'm telling you how guys <laughs> feel. You don't have to like it. But this is how a lot of men These feel. These girls are this really undervaluing themselves 
I mean, if a guy is willing, are they? If a guy is willing to invest his commitment in you, and you're not willing to do whatever it takes to protect that investment, yeah, man. It just shows that hey, I'm not, I'm not worth, I'm, but they I'm don't, worthless, right? But they don't see it that way because they want, see, they want, they want the man to invest in them without being an investable commodity. Yeah. They want to be able to engage in whole shit, but still have dudes invest in them like they're a lady, like they're worthy of commitment. It's like investing in a company that's filing for bankruptcy. There you go. Or, or, or investing in a company that has talked about like this is almost like investing in a company. That has laid off people in the past. They have an up and down portfolio. They're just unpredictable, right? right. They make a lot of risky moves. They've, they've gotten a lot of things wrong. They fired three CEOs. No one's going to invest in that Being because of investigated by the SEC. There you go, right? <laughs> and and so and and so nobody's going to invest in that because they have what a track record of bad decision making. Mm -hmm. This is the way men feel. Women who have a bad track record in decision making, and let's be honest. The only bad decisions that women, the, the bad decisions that women engage in leads to fucking. The more dicks you take, the less valuable you are. That's the bottom line. Uh, blah, 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 Black Wolf Inc. <laughs> $5 says, fam, check out uh, at RDC World 1 and watch Video Game House. You will laugh your ass off. This this conversation is perfect and... It's over 9,000! Yeah, we are definitely going to clip that Nintendo talk. I thought that was that was brilliant. Uh, Mr. J, $5, says, When she hits 40 uh, and single, her world will, sh will shatter like Hela destroyed <laughs> Thor's hammer. Thanos using the Infinity Gauntlet and in the Infinity Stones. Uh, Street Fighter 88 says they want a discount on a new item. Wintrell is about to get banned, said Marble Madness. Damn, Marble Madness was awesome. You remember Qbert? All right, never mind. How they conduct relationships, etc. Now, with what you said, if you this might, is how can you, they conduct relationships, why? Wait, so they are saying can it? Can I just this finish my point real quick? Because you're saying they're saying, they're saying it and then they're not saying it. Are they hiding it? These are the real feelings. She's just A lot of guys feel the water. This way. Yeah, she's trying to. Yeah, she's trying to muddy the waters to pick out one thing that she can argue against. That's all. Now, now here's the thing. You're saying I would never be in a relationship like that. Fantastic, great. You, you might go. not be someone there that wants go. to be in a tradition. This is when the this is when the girls start to turn on her because they see now she's arguing in bad faith. Exactly, really and not only that, this is the second time he's gone over yes. this point. Yes, again. Like, yes, he said it three different ways. She now keeps he's circling back. She keeps asking or telling him the same things, just doing it in a different way to try to get him to slip up. But again, you are just an exception to the rule then, because most women uh -huh. want a man that's going to be the masculine leader in America. I would oh argue God. if you go out uh, all over. The See, there it is. Another qualification in America. See, no matter what he says, she's always going to disagree with some of it. Guys, I'll get to it at the end. The if world, you go outside of even America, more so. it's probably even worse. Even more right. so. Yeah. If you go outside of America, it's probably even worse. You want to see something worse. different? I, go to Dubai. I, I, yeah, leave. True Chino, 913. Doing his best. ETF 42 impression. Remember him yeah, way do, back in yeah. the day. Says, uh. SS Karen versus Aurora uh, versus Aura round two fight. <laughs> if you leave the Western world, here's the thing. Here if we go. Miami period. You leave the Western world and you're going to see that the poor of the country. There it is. The, the closer the genders get to their traditional roles. The women are more feminine. The men are more masculine. That's right. It's only in the West, the United States, New Zealand, Australia, etc., where we have this ambiguous gender role fights between the two genders where the marriage rates are plummeting, the divorce rates are high, single mother households are rampant, kids are fuck-ups, degenerates everywhere. It's only in the West. Why? Because the families don't last. Because of this inability for the genders to understand. She's not even listening. You can tell she's not even listening. He needs to speak to her more slowly. He does. Yeah, he needs to... <laughs> He needs to look at her. They're but I understand why he doesn't. Additional roles to make a family work. Pierre Fitzberg says, oh, God, she's been to Dubai. You know what that means. Um, hang on a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, again, you can say, I don't like that. That's fantastic. But what I'm telling you is most women do. And that is a fact. I'm most women want a masculine that leader like that adheres to certain traits. I don't traits. understand it. That's how much I don't. Because he's you don't not have saying, to understand it. Here we go. Because he's not it's saying, true. like, say okay to disrespect, like, say okay to being controlled. He's not saying, say, like, he's not saying it's okay to be controlled, like, oh, bitch, you're not going over there. You're not wearing that. You're not leaving the house. It's kind of like, if you don't like it, 
cool. Leave. But I respect respect what I like and what I don't like. You get me? But if you don't like it, then you you cool to leave. You Men cool having to find standards is else. a foreign concept to her. I mean, no <laughs> offense, but you like, have I, a, you have a wife? No. Okay, I'm sh- I, I, I was shocked. Why would why would I want to have a wife? Here comes the shaming. Do you have a wife? Oh, so the fact that you're not married just speaks to yeah, right. <laughs> why would you don't want to have a wife? You have right all now? these standards. I mean, for right, I mean, somebody in your life, but right you now? don't no. want one. Why, why would I want a wife right now? I mean, I'm not saying right now. I just mean period, like overall in general. You don't ever want a wife? Not right now. Maybe in the future. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. In yeah, the in the future. future. But like, I mean, it'd be dumb for me to have a wife now. Why? Or you have something? Go ahead. All right. So Uh-oh. I wish I had my phone on me. Round two. Fight. Because there's this tweet that I actually put in. And it's literally Get a tweet aura. that literally I found. And it literally is basically Jesus. describing a woman. And it's like how I feel personally. Because it's like certain women like me that I'm a switch. So I can be dominant and I can be submissive. Mm-hmm. But there is certain type of caliber mm. of men that I can only listen to. Mm. And that is a certain stance of masculinity that they have. That's gonna make me be feminine towards uh, them. So that's conditional femininity, which is wrong in and of itself. Well, that certain masculinity is what I strive for you because I don't listen submissive. to everybody. Yeah. Exactly. You, you have to make me submissive. You can't just expect submissiveness. For exactly. No well, I think that's a little bit of a problem, but it's a whole other situation. The point is, is that that's what women want: is a masculine man that can yeah. put them in their feminine. So I get what you're saying. I want to be able to do what I want, free love, etc. Fantastic for you, but most women want a man that's going to be a leader and have a traditional role to some degree. Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to just, I feel like uh, I'm going to voice my shit out there because I almost kind of feel like I started this conversation with this all. Oh, my God. Um, Based on, like, my whole ex Ease Chill, $5, says, one of these days, Myron should start speaking in tongues just to prove these kinds of women want to argue aren't listening. Yeah, right. Relationship and all that. Mm -hmm. Like I said. I do disagree with her. I do need, I not want, I need a man who Uh-oh. has his pants on. Like, Uh-oh. Me, if not, I will literally walk Don't be ashamed up. of it. You- I- who has his pants on. She wants a man who is dominant and in control. When will, many women want that. I will walk around you and most likely have like two or three more of you that like, because I'm just playing games, to be honest. So, yeah. yes, if I'm taking you seriously and you want to keep me locked up at home, like, if you have me locked up at home for a year, that means I love you, and you don't have. It's not oh! controlling to me. It's more like I call you. You want to do it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bobby, is this? You value you this hated commitment. it, and you left that. No, that lo- because she had to. Be, the reason why she left him, and she hated it, is because she had to support that nigga. What are you talking about? Okay. You tell me on a regular basis. Whoa, whoa, we're like we're not talking about like stuff like we talk about. Like, <laughs> you said we're not <laughs> talking <laughs> about our personal tea. life. You're about to get booted <laughs> off tea. of here right now. No. See what? What, yeah, what SS Karen just did is she just brought up some personal shit that she told her off the air. So now she's fighting dirty. Like, I, I, I'm, so I'm gonna, I'm, I, I know why she, uh, uh, okay, like, you I, know, if I know gonna the put my to, personal shit ahead. there. No, 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 sure, go ahead. Like, literally, go yeah, ahead. I'm, I was uh, 100%, I wanna be, I'm, I'm Capricorn, so we're loyal ass bitches, oh, but God. we love, we love, we love, but we, we hate, go. we hate. Yep. Here we go. So, Here we go. literally, like, I will do anything for a nigga, like, anything and everything, but. I have to actually like want that. We set a boundary. Like, yeah, and uh, and yes, how much you make, what you do. There we go. Obviously, matters. how much That's I why care. I'm not with the fucking previous ones. Uh huh. You know, obviously. Like her big dick fucking matters. That's why I. <laughs> that's why I pay for shit and stuff. You know, don't get me wrong, but I. And this is why girls end up getting fucked up in the game, is because. If the dude has a big dick, then he don't have to make no goddamn money. Did you see her hold out her fist? Yes, she said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Want a nigga that tells me what to do and stuff and opens up my world to crazy things. Like, Did the white girl just say the N word? Like, yo, I'm gonna let me, like, pee on me, let me pee on you, <laughs> stuff like that. And wow, like, whoa, she's oh, super submissive. Hardcore. She's super submissive. Wow, wow. But, and it's funny, like, we'll all bristle, but what she is saying is that if she loves a man, She'll do anything for him, and she's not lying. If a woman loves you, she will literally do anything for you. This woman just verified it. This woman just verified it. I was never. And no, I'm not gonna pee on you. Thank you. Into that we- piss on you. That for me, that was like, yo, uh, you can't even pay me to do that shit. And I got into it. Why? Because like, it was your man. Yeah, you were comfortable. I, I, let me tell you, I hate feet. I hate feet. I hate feet. I- Everybody hates feet. I I hate feet. <laughs> Okay. But I, I hate them when too. he told me to Did suck on his toes. Did he lick toes? Oh, God! Bitch, oh! I wouldn't even lie. I would do what. 
ever Bitch, this guy said. If I love wow. you, okay. Bro, so you had, you had a question. That's two girls. So the other girl said, if I love you, I'll do whatever. The this bitch let her man pee on her. And she, look, honestly, dude, like, Devin, put it on the poll. Put it on the poll. Which is, which is the, which is the, which is the worst thing for a woman to have to go to? To get urinated on or to suck on a nigga's toes? To get urinated on or to suck on a nigga's toes? Which is the, which of those two is the least desirable? Um, let me hear from you first. Which, which which is less desirable for you? Would you rather let me pee on you or suck my toes? You won't let me give you a pedicure. <laughs> I just don't like You're people gonna on my feet. Let me suck your toes. Oh God, I don't understand. I don't, see, I don't know. I think I'd rather get peed on. Because you can just wipe that yeah, off. Yeah, I can right? just yeah. take a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. pee on me in the shower, save me some time. Yeah, right, right, right. Save right, a mess. Yeah. But toes, I think you I have peed on you. Out of your mouth. Ugh, God. You did pee on me. Yeah, in, uh, in, Hawaii? in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, we were in the shower and I was like, ah, I'm peeing on you. Go ahead. So, so oh, I will oh. piss on you. Oh, I will finish. literally, if I, I love you. That. You remember that? I forgot. Ease Chill said, that's love. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It, listen, if a woman really loves you, she will do whatever. This bitch sucked on a nigga's toes, let a nigga pee on her. Listen, we can all sit here and bristle at what she said, but it's the truth, guys. This is how it works. Of course, you can't yeah. be no pussy ass nigga. If you can't be no pussy ass nigga, that you, you broke ass, like you no. Mm -hmm. But do you see? Now these are her conditions. If right. I'm gonna suck on your toes and I'm gonna piss on you, nigga, you better be putting it down in the bedroom. You can't be no pussy ass nigga. You can't be no bitch. Like you can't be a bitch. That's what she's saying. If you if you meet those standards, like you just like men have standards with women, you have to be you like all in. a rich ass amazing guy isn't gonna take care of no fat ugly bitch. Sorry, uh -oh. no. And with the Ritz Carlton, no. Uh oh. I think I know who she was talking about. She said a rich ass nigga ain't gonna take care of no fat ass bitch, and she's right. Uh, even Zuer, $5, says, uh, I was waiting for Donovan to break this down. She misconstrued everything Myron said, even to the point that the disagreeable ladies even disagreed with her. Yeah, that's coming up soon. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. But maybe a nice, pretty girl that's 21 and broke and doesn't do shit with her life. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? Like, she may or may not be talking about herself. Like, it just depends on the person. See, she still has spunk she can't because be talking she's... about herself because she can pay for her own stuff when she goes shopping. No, she can't. This woman is know, broke as a joke. How much? <laughs> look, how much money does how much money does uh, does uh, truck stop Ariana Grande have in her wallet right now? She doesn't even have Bitcoin. I got. I think she has seven dollars. I the doubt wallet. it. Nah, three. 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 Devin, put it on the poll. Put it on I the poll. I already have a poll up. Oh, you can't put up more than one at the yeah, same time. I don't think so. All right, uh, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. How much money do you think truck stop Ariana Grande has in her wallet right now? I said seven dollars. Devin said three. And so, since I'm the one that started this conversation, I'll let you know. I will let a nigga fucking control me. But yeah, you gotta fucking. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be doing yeah, something. I think gotta... the, the proper term is you will let a man lead. There it is. Yes. So, um, there okay, it is. So, so go ahead. To, <laughs> That's it. Have... I right. I mean, see, there you go. I'll let a nigga lead. Whatever. A woman is not going to let just anybody lead. You have to listen. You have to be worthy of following. You asked her something about getting locked up in the house or whatever. Go ahead. Mm, no, <laughs> you have a very no. bad habit of interjecting, and then when we she give said, you the mic yes, to say what you right. want to say. No, yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah, yeah. said no. About yeah. She said our personal business. Piss on you. Business on a podcast. Well, it's, so okay. Uh, Night Commander, five British pounds. I'm sorry, five euros. Says haters gonna hate. Lover's gonna love. I don't even want none of the above. <laughs> I want to pee on you. Yes, I'll do. Yes, I do. I'll pee on you. Yo, you have to see that. Um, what is it? The uh, oh, the Dave Chappelle R. Kelly thing. I'm sorry. I've what? Seen it. I've seen Why it. are we on our phone right now? Okay, so tell Olivia to not watch the goddamn show. But like, you can't be on your phone while we're at work, sorry. sweetheart. Jesus Christ. Um, dung is fun. Five two dollars super chat says I pee on you drip 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 oh boy oh boy uh it's adobo seasoning <laughs> ice dragon kiss says it's adobo seasoning Ariana Grande oh boy oh boy uh I've got ten dollars dollar eighty five two fifty she doesn't carry cash about ten bucks I think she's got seven dollars on her Technomage B five says she's got five dollars and thirty seven cents uh, Xander Sp Specs says twenty I don't know about that I don't know uh go because 
Lorenzo Rock says she has enough for two tacos and Jack in the Box. <laughs> What's Jack in the Box? Oh, that's right. You're not a West Coast girl. Uh-uh. Uh, Jack in the Box is a it's a fast food restaurant is on it the like West Coast. Is like In-N-Out? No, no. Uh, it's, um, oh man, that's a good, that's. They what, sell they sell tacos and burgers. Yes, they. Oh. Well, it's 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 you yeah. Think they, someone would invent that idea on the East Coast. I'm trying to tell you, they'd clean up. Wow. They'd clean up. Yeah, yeah, they'd clean up. Because I have a question about that. The guy that you had to pay all the bills for and everything is that the guy that tried to tell you what to do? No. Okay. There you go. Him? But See you that? were playing games with him, right? Which one? Like the one that <laughs> oh, Jesus. All of the all of them. She can't keep them all straight. The one that straight. I used to pay for and stuff. That's yeah. my baby daddy. I got pregnant and everything, and I okay. literally never paid for shit. Now like, it's not still, back. He's broke as unfortunately. Like he couldn't even pay for his own Burger King. Unfortunately, yeah. But we were in high school. Um, no, my ex makes great money. Um, mm-hmm. Works like yeah, all that. Mm-hmm. Why'd you leave him? Mm-hmm. Because it was too much. But controlling can get to a certain point. But then mixing dr- control. Drugs and alcohol and putting your hands on me is the oh. limit. No, Ooh. that's crossing a whole oh, different here line. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So that, see, see how you Cubans, peel the layer man. back a little bit, and now you get to the real reason. It right. wasn't because he was masculine and told you, "Hey, I have boundaries." It was oh, right. Because, I like that. Yeah, it was because other reasons. Oh, and you can choke me, just not like you gotta not know when real. to choke me. No, yo, this bitch is well, for real. You know, you gotta know when to stop. In yeah. the yeah. Back. Yeah. Right. Yo, this bitch is a freak. She's being honest. She is being honest, though. She is being honest. I saw this shit. I mean, like, make, me pass, out. make me, me pass out. Make me pass out. We got, uh, pass out. We we got 7,200 live viewers right now. We lit. Like so, guys, video. like the video right now because I'm definitely <laughs> losing hair follicles here. Uh, like the video, guys. Um, also, we got uh, Super Chats, or did you want to uh, get Super Chats. All right, I'll read these chats real quick, guys, and then... So, wait, wait, wait. So, so Chad is saying you're saying the N-word. Um, are you... uh, Dre Raven says, wait, truck stop Ariana Grande as a mother? Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? Uh-oh. Oh. She got called out. Look, she got called out on saying the N-word. Look, Did dude. she really? Oh, yeah, she said the N-word plenty of times. <gasps> but now look at her. She's like, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Now listen to this. Listen to this response. Listen. Okay. Listen to the, uh, N-word in the chat? Like, the, uh, uh, red hair. Someone wants to say the N-word. N-I-G-G-A. Nigga. Yeah. yeah. You're so, Cuban, right? No, I'm Argentinian Israeli. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, chat is being triggered by you saying the N-word, so I'm please sorry. stop. Yes, sir. Thank you. It is too bad. It's too bad. This girl This this girl has the submissive gene. She, I'm, dude, honestly, she looks like she was raised without a father. She has potential. She's got some spunk. She's a freak a leak, and she is submissive to a fault. Unfortunately, a bum ass nigga in high school got to her before anybody could, man. It's too bad. She just told the man she does not know. Yes, sir. Look, listen, listen, listen. Well, that's, you can... that's a pretty humbling uh, it doesn't... thing to be called on, too. That's true. Oops. But, but no, 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 no. But no woman has ever said that on the show. Just listen. And this was this was instinctual. This is not something she just watched. Uh, red hair. Someone said an N word. N I G G A. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. You're so, Cuban, right? No, I'm Argentinian Israeli. Mm-hmm. All right, well, <laughs> chat is being triggered by using the N-word, so I'm please sorry. stop. Yes, sir. Thank you. See? Mm-hmm. You see how, do you see what happens when she gets checked? A, the chat is, is being, she's like, okay, yes, sir. There was nothing fake about it. Guys, yeah. like, I mean, every woman has the capacity to be like this. Unfortunately, we grow up in this sewage, and all of this goes right out the window. All this goes right out the window. Uh, Devin put on the poll, uh, which is worse? Which is worse? Which is worse for a woman to have to do? 57% said being urinated on and 43% are wrong. Dude, (laughs) I'm telling you right now. I'm not. Listen, thank you to all 316 people that voted on the poll. Dude, the sucking on the toes. I. uh, Oh my god. No, I couldn't you get do it. Toe in your mouth. Ah! Okay, all right, that's gross. That's all gross. Right. Uh, ah! let's see here. Um ah! we got <laughs> Kenny that's Lester, twenty dollars. These girls t- Yeah, Jay Blaze says she would have made a great wife. I'm trying to tell you, man. Take Richard measurements with your money clip on top. Wait. You said that, that one. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, girl in the middle of the You said that one. Hey, let us hear that too. Yeah. Let's, let's skip ahead here. Uh, yep, there you go. Or let us see that big tongue. <laughs> Look at this bitch's tongue. Things like a blanket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like a whole foot. Yeah, that's like a king there. size. Yeah, that's like a king size comforter she's got there in her mouth. <laughs> wow, look at that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what are the it goes and facts, bro. Guys, get okay. 
Pilkowski. <laughs> Here we I was go. so close to having my first threesome last <laughs> night. Uh, my dog was supposed to invite his friend, but his owner took him for a walk. God damn you, Fresh. What? Oh, that's what? supposed to be. That was, about to be that was for oh. Fresh's dog. Yeah. yeah, that was for Hero. Mendel dialogue for these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, elbows could touch. SMH, maybe next time. Aura, I'm trying to fly you out. Damn. Or you want to drop Instagram? Could... Yeah, I'll drop my Instagram. You better, man. <laughs> My Instagram is Aura, exactly how you spelled it, a period, sin. Wintrell says, why they call it toe jam. Ooh! Sane. Sin. That's what you get when you don't get pedicures, honey. I've never had toe jam. How do you know? Because I look at my toes every day. I don't have toe jam. And I'm not getting a goddamn <laughs> pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, you, you in a relationship like with a guy, you're up. your feet off. Oh, God, dude. I just don't like people all in and around my feet, man. You want to know why? Because I'm ticklish down there. I think is that's it, what it is. Yeah. Is yeah, yeah. Present so him ticklish. long, uh, willing to die. I got the answer. It depends. Nope. Okay. It depends. Oh, now this is a good question. The woman Listen. willing to die. He belongs to the street. All right. Uh, Jamal, $10. Her what? Okay. Uh, Joshua Deal, $10. Your choices has consequences. You in a relationship with a guy. You represent him. You going out there and acting go. single, half naked, etc. Men won't tolerate it. You don't like it, then you belong. Uh, there you go. She belongs to the street. There right. it is. Uh, Joseph Grushik, hundred bucks. Here is the question: Is a woman willing to die to protect a man? I don't think, dude. Her son. Yes, the only man a woman, the only man a woman should die to protect is her offspring. A woman should never be required to take. If somebody comes in here shooting. I don't want you jumping in front of me. Like that's to me, that doesn't make that. That's not. Not instinct. only would I die, I would die with you pissed at me. Yeah, like, dude, come on, man. What like, are you doing? Yeah, would be the last I, thing I heard. Right, right. Get out of the way. <laughs> if that's my man. Yes or no? I got the answer. It depends. Nope. Okay. It depends. <laughs> he said nope. Nope. Yeah, it like literally depends. There's a lot that goes behind nope. that. I'm not just gonna buy, die over nope. nobody. No, 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 you shouldn't die. No, no, no. Nope. Women should not die. She for definitely ain't doing it. Shana. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, dude. SS Karen definitely ain't dying for a goddamn man. Hell no. Good plan. Tell you what, she she die for some Krispy Kreme, though. <laughs> Tell you what, she die for some Ben and Jerry's, wouldn't she? She would. She would. <laughs> I think the reason why he's asking that is because she get her own lifeboat if, for that ice cream. <laughs> if a man is dating a woman and taking her seriously and giving her a last name and a commitment, etc., and being willing to die for her, and, and you know, if someone breaks. Uh, Eben Zuer says, Myron handled the feminine, the feminist with zen-like patience. By the way, I am waiting for the night Rider for the lady using the N-word. Oh, it's coming. House. Dung is fun. $2 says, get some of that toe jam in your teeth. Ugh. Jesus Christ, that's gross. He's going to put himself in front of the woman. Right. Okay, see, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I mean when it depends. Because yeah. it depends yeah. on what's exactly. the situation. But, what I'm trying to, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that that's kind of the invisible burden of performance that there men you go. have when they get in a relationship with there a woman. There it is. So if he tells you, hey, I don't like it when you dress in a certain way and go out, uh -huh. I mean, you should respect that guy's opinion. And if you don't, then you don't get that benefit that's what of I being said at able the start to of the show. There you go. But that's controlling and possessive. Oh, yeah. No, I yeah. think it's pretty fair. I would say so. <laughs> They're protected by this guy. I think it's a very fair trade. Street Fighter 88 says, guys, I'm eating. Yeah. Trade. As a matter of fact, I... Yeah, J Blaze 11 says a woman dying for a man is disrespectful. Right! Right! Like, why is your woman dead? Well, she took a bullet for me. What? Like, no. that No, that's 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 a... That, no. I, I think that, him laying happen. his life down to want to protect you. Right. Right? And you not wearing a skimpy shirt and going out with your friends to live on a Saturday night. That's, I think that's a fair trade. Over, I would over, say more than fair. I would say so. See that? That's the masculine burden of performance. If somebody were to break in to this house, you wouldn't get up and go down and take care of it. That would be Oh no, me. I wake you up. Yes. You I, wake I and I gently well, push yes, you. Yes, yes, and yes, I, yes. And I gently go. Well, I'm not the kind that wakes up violently. No, you're just no, very... but you're a bigger person than me. I just I'm, I don't need to rouse you. Really. Yeah, right, 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 you right, know, right. Just say, hey, babe, I heard something. I remember our alarm went off one night, and so, <laughs> so I heard the. I didn't hear the alarm going off. <laughs> Devin did, because I sleep with earplugs in. So Devin, so Devin's like, uh, babe, the alarm's going off. So I wake up. It's clear to me that the alarm is going off, right? The alarm is going off. This means someone is broken, supposedly, into our place. And so I grab the weapon, and Devin goes to hand me the magazine, and I'm half of no, 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 I don't need that. So I walk downstairs. So I'm, I'm walking downstairs waiting to confront this supposed assailant with an empty 
with an empty chamber. Yeah, now that I know that, I'm not going to hand you a weapon when you just wake up. Yes, don't because don't I, do that. I keep it loaded now in my safe. Yes, and, yes, Because yes, when yes, you went yes. to Miami, I was like, I'm not. If I need this, I'm not going to have time to. You there know? you go. You're not going to have time. Yes, exactly. So yeah, I was like, no, 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 I don't need that. And I took and I, dude, I went, dude, I went downstairs. I was, I mean, I was and ready I to throw pop the gun out. Yeah, me. right. Exactly. Uh, so, I thought you were going to say you heard the alarm, and when you woke up, you went, Alexa, stop. <laughs> That's probably what would happen. But um, what ended up happening was it was so windy outside and our garage door was open just like a like not even an inch. Yeah. And the wind ended up blowing open our garage. Mm-hmm. It, it, it tripped off the breaker of the of the door that went to the garage. So that's what that was. But they never sent any cops or anything. And we got yeah, that. If you turn it up. off within a certain number of minutes, they don't. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Five minutes. OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. five. That's but. True. Within like two minutes or something. Okay, because I got because it was it went off for a while. It went off for a while. I, I, went, out, I went down there with ah. none in the chamber, so um, <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna pistol whip somebody. You're my you're my lethal weapon, baby. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I mean, <laughs> dude, I've been known to do some damage. I've been known to do some damage with with these, but if I'm half asleep. <laughs> I'm, you I throw don't know. the gun at him. I'll throw the magazine. There you at him. go. There it is. We'll yes. Get out of it somebody's gonna get him. Yeah. Somebody's gonna get him. Yeah. <laughs> that's what guys. That's when a guy wants to take you serious. That's what they're willing to do. So question. I mean, yeah. Sure. Here we so go. So if you have a say, your wife, you guys on a boat, you know, canoeing, canoeing. And there's a shark. Mm-hmm. By chance, you know, she falls. Like, would you save her? Or would you let her? You know, get attacked by a shark. What? This is a very good question. This is a good question, and I know it seems I know it seems crazy, but here is what I will say: If I'm with a girl I'm not committed to because she wants to go out and have all her fun, I'm not jumping in after her. How the hell does she fall out of the damn canoe? What well, let's not listen. Basically, I, I think what she is, I think what what she's really asking, and the the overarching point is. Is the more obedient, submissive, cooperative a woman is, the more I'm willing to do for you. Right. That's right. what it is. Mm-hmm. This is why. This is why when someone had supposedly broken into the house, I sleep. I was sleepwalking, right? And it was there was no question in my mind what I had to do. I I did it without literally, literally without even thinking. But the reason I do that, the reason my my instinct is to protect what's mine and to, and to protect you, is because you're good to me, right? I would not have gone down, like, I don't go downstairs with a weapon in my hand for just anyone. I'm just not going to do that. No, the fact that you take good care of me, you run my website, you are good to me. That's the reason I, di- that's the reason I do that. Women are not good to their men. They're just not. And so then they wonder why when there's a bump in the night, the guy's like, ah, you go, you go deal with it. It's because <laughs> you ain't doing shit. You didn't look. Women, women want women want to say, "I'm not going to suck his dick because I don't like it," or "I have a headache." But then wonder why the dude doesn't get up to go find out what's going on downstairs. No, you don't. If you are not going to uphold your end of the bargain, your your husband or boyfriend's not going to uphold their end of the bargain. And he's secretly thinking death is cheaper than divorce. There Please you go. be a, a yes. robber. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Uh, Mark LeBrant says, "Where would you go canoeing where there are <clears throat> sharks?" Yeah. Great Barrier Reef. Oh. They go know. canoeing out I'm just there. Making stuff yeah, up. Whatever. I have no idea. But again, she's. You know, the overarching question is: is if your woman were in danger, would you put yourself between her and the danger? It depends upon how good she is to me. Would you save her? I would pull her back in the canoe. I'm not gonna just let her get. I wouldn't right. Do that. Well, I mean, it's just it's a. I understand what she's trying yes. to say, but would it's you poorly put, worded. If right, if your woman were in danger, would you rush to her aid? If your woman is good, to, the better a woman is to a man, the more he is willing to put to put himself in danger. That's what it is. That's what it comes down to. My wife, I'm, uh, yeah, of course, it's mother of my kids. See, right there, it is. I mean, yeah, that's your wife. Says the guy who doesn't when want to get married asked, yet. When you just ask, like, would oh, a woman up. die over there? She's so funny. She's so clueless. Man, like, <laughs> my man. The, like, the answer, the answer to that is, be is no. Husband, exactly. It needs no, to be my but, husband. Like, yeah, it needs but, to be somebody that levels up to me dying for you. Like, why am I gonna die for you for no reason? But like, here's, just here's because you're my man. Here's a beauty. No, women that. shouldn't do that. Men naturally will protect women. That's women right. will yeah. not naturally protect men. There you go. And that's if okay. If you look right in time when there's a, shoot, a shooting or anything cra- crazy going on, it's always yep. men going yep. in and grabbing the women or that's whatever. Right. But men have the... natural protector instincts Correction, for women and there children. There was a shooting in the Aventura Mall, and I left and to just to go pick up my ex. This 
crazy Cuban that I was like, yeah, I after the went. danger had passed. Oh well, of course, of course. Okay, so, so I mean, it's, it's, Myron's right. It's a natural evolution. Men protect women. Yes. Women protect the children. Yes. Right. Women, if there's a, sh- like, if, if there is a shooting, and let's say you're at the mall, let's say you're at the mall with Olivia, right? And there's a shooting. Your first instinct is to cover her, is to up, cover yeah. her up. Exactly. That's just the way it goes. Give me the line of fire. Yeah, I will literally, yes, of course. Like no, no, no. I said, of, I you're will, if I love up. a guy, I will. Like, <laughs> oh, I believe her. I believe her too. Look, 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 look. I believe that this woman, <laughs> just watch her face when she says this. This woman is not cabin or whatever. But then have natural protector instincts Correction, for women and there children. There was a shooting in the Aventura Mall and I left. And just watch. Just to go pick up my ex. This bitch is right. Listen, say what you will about truck stop <laughs> Ariana Grande. The bitch is ride or die. Like, watch, this just watch, just watch. Cuban that I was, like, no, I no, literally no. went put Give myself. Me the line just watch, just watch. I will literally, yes, of course. Like no, no, I said, no. I will if I love a guy. I will. <laughs> she's crazy. She's all over the place, but she's not capping. This bitch is like, this is this is the type of bitch. <laughs> this is the type of bitch that you would have a very volatile relationship with. Like you would like, she's the type of bitch who would throw shit at you when she found out you cheated on her, but then want to have eighty of your kids like the next day. Like that's just how she, she is. She reminds me of the kind of girl who would start fights with other women for looking at her man. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, listen, this bitch is, listen, say what you want. This bitch is ride or die, man. I will go and I, I will feel like that goes with. Uh, <laughs> Yo, she, she is front not front front lying. Like goes with this I got you, babe. Run. I swear oh, on my crazy. life, yeah. I have done that pregnant. W- yes, I have for my fucking podcast. Okay, fuck fantastic. Guys, well, then yes, you I might have. be an exception <laughs> to the rule. rule. But Yo, I this bitch. doesn't make you good. It makes look, you look, 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 I, Listen, I agree. I agree, but I'm trying to tell you, whoever, like, she is absolutely crazy. She's, listen, man, look, 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 look. We all know. She belongs to the streets. But I'm going to tell you what, man. Once you own this woman's soul, whoever owns this man, you know what? There is one girl. There is one girl that I own like this. Her name, well, I don't know where the fuck she's at now. She's got a, fuck, what, a three-year-old kid now. But if you own a woman's soul, guys. She will do whatever. It does. It does not matter whether it's healthy or not. Really, but have. men are pregnant. designed to protect women, not vice versa. And my baby because... daddy was literally yelling, "She's pregnant." She... Nah, I. Yeah, what the fuck. If I love you, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I love her. I think she's great. I think she's great. Women, men are biological. Look, 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 she's like, "What the fuck are you talking about, y'all?" She's like, "I will take a bullet for that nigga," and she ain't lying. She ain't lying. We designed to protect women, you know, because women are the more vital sex when it comes to propagating a society. You know, if the, there you if go. The women, there's a reason why they say sperm is cheap, eggs are expensive. Women and children off the boat first. Men are expendable. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. That's why they want what. Dre Raven. Oh, uh, Dre Raven on the Sharp Stream side says, uh, "Truck stop Ariana Grande is the type of chick who gets who goes on a four state crime spree with Dave the Unemployed Garage Band guitar player." I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, if 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 Truck Stop Ariana Grande were your woman and you lost your job, you're like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna go, babe. I'm gonna go rob a bank. You know what she'll do? She'll be like, let's do this shit. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, she will go out, she will go out guns a blazing. Oh, real talk. Like this bitch is look, Devin G says she's with it. Yo, she's with it. She's with it. She's fucking crazy, but I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. She'll take care of you. One and fought at wars. We can't incubate the next generation of human beings. It is what yeah. it is. So women are not designed to protect men. It's from a biological standpoint, but men, however, are. So that's why he asked that. You might be an exception to the rule where you're running around pregnant and protecting your boyfriend. You're an exception. <laughs> Most women would like not do if, that. Only if I love you, though. If not, I'm pushing you. For yeah. I'm sorry. Time. It's okay. But if I'm pregnant and I'm with my man, bitch, I got to go. Then my, our kids, our people. Yo, look at her. Dude, look at the. This bitch is crazy. She is. She is absolutely. Look, 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 look. Check this out. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. This is the type, this is the type of bitch. <laughs> and this is not a bad thing. But this is this is the type of bitch that if she likes you, she lets you know like she lets you know immediately. Uh-huh. Be like, look, I love your ass. Like real talk. Uh Street Fighter 88 said she could be she could be in the cast for the remake of Set It Off. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Th- I swear to God, if you told her, hey, I need three, I need three slugs of that nigga right there, she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She is going to do it.
This is the true epitome of ride or die. She will do whatever you tell her well, to can do. Can she cook eggs? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll bet you she can. I bet you she could. I bet you she can. If it, you asked her to, I'm sure she'd do just about anything. Well, listen, Hispanics know that uh, the way the way Hispanic women uh, define breakfast is whatever they had last night, whatever was last night for dinner, with eggs. Really? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, um, if you had, like, uh, if you, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you had steak potatoes and green bean casserole what the, what she would do is she she'd cut up the steak separate the the potatoes and the green bean casserole and then mix eggs all into that yeah that's what they do and a lot of it is good a lot of it is good whatever they had last night with eggs peanut like yeah <laughs> our <laughs> peanut our peanut we got to get the fuck about it and, and we're not trying here. to shame y'all for it bro like here's the thing about this podcast we acknowledge that men and women are different real talk we acknowledge the uncomfortable truths about men we acknowledge the uncomfortable truths about women uh-huh. you said women get mad we acknowledge the uncomfortable truths about women because no one really brings it to light like that and we can't have standards yeah, we, and men can't. i don't feel like that's true though i feel like March. people are always talking about women Fast. Really? How yeah, so? Yeah, that us. I feel like people are merch. always talking about women. Don't be saying merch, man. How, like how they so? always be talking about women. How so? I don't it, like. What do you mean? How so? I feel. I just I mean feel if like you're gonna women, make a statement, I'm I'm hoping you would be able to back it up and tell me uh-oh. how so. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm sorry. Like I just be on Twitter, or like I'll just be on Instagram, or I'll just be like on social media. Oh, here we go. With the Muslims, the Arabs, the good. Chinese. It, look at look at look East. Jewish you, you go to Middle East. You look at East Korea. Asia. You look yeah. at Japan. They're even. also the same ones that are. Listen, listen, listen. Here we go of like you believe what you want to believe you state that there are these facts about men but mm-hmm. like they're a controlled census of people that you're bringing these facts here we from. go it's here not we really go. like we we pulled every single person and these are like so where did i lie so i'm not saying that you lied i'm saying that your statistics are off of a certain group of people that watch your show that respond to your poll no. Okay, what what so what is it that you have a point of contention with then? It doesn't matter. This is going to go around and around. Um guys, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, SS Karen is <clears throat> SS Karen is she is she is the result. She is the result of the environment, guys. She's the result of the environment. She honestly she she really and truly despises men. She she is a misandrist. Like she's the avatar. She's unattractive. She has a nasty attitude. She she literally she she really does despise men. And the number one qualification of any woman that despises men are that high value men do not want her. I don't believe high value men has have ever wanted this woman. This hate this hate goes deep seated. What are your final thoughts on uh, SS Karen? I mean, her attitude isn't doing her looks any favors. So, you know, nope. I, I mean, give her another 10 years, maybe she'll soften up. But I, I, I think she, she's just disagreeable all the way around. It doesn't even have to do What do you think causes men. that? What do you think causes that? Because, I mean, like, it is extreme. It is. I, I feel like they could be talking about peanut butter sandwiches and she would be arguing that almond butter is better. Uh, wait a minute. Black Wolf Inc. says, wait, uh, that was the best part of the show. Yeah, we're going to go a little bit longer. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's do it. Hold on. Hang on a second. Because this is when it really gets good. Right now. That's not fact. That's an opinion. So what, you want their poll to be like worldwide? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. See? I mean, yes. I would argue so that if it, was, <laughs> if, it was, if it was world, yeah, we have people all over the world watching right now, but if it was worldwide, that would actually make it more in our favor because mm-hmm. remember. I love when Myron says that proves my point even further. Right. The West is. Bingo. This is a meme. This is a meme right here. This, this is, that proves my point even further. I love it. <laughs> a small That's a percentage meme. of the world, like in everywhere else in the world, it's traditional relationships. Men really have an issue with girls going out and That's dressing right. a certain way. That's right. Fox. I mean, <laughs> so. checkmate. I mean, just look at the Muslims, the Arabs, the good. Chinese. It, look at look at look East. At you, you go to Middle East. You look at East Asia. You look yeah. at Japan. They're even. also the same ones that are buying the girls and all of that stuff. What are you oh talking my about? God. Like that's buying liter- the girls. Are you those serious? are like literal, like in Middle Eastern stuff. Like they buy their wives still. Like that's a. Th- that's not what we're talking about, sweetheart. She's talking. See, see now she's trying to she's trying to conflate relationships with human trafficking. She's factually incorrect. The. Bride's family pays a dowry to the husband's family because a woman basically has no value, so they have to add value to the pot for that for 
if his she family goes to take awry, her away. that well, not only that, if she goes awry, then they get the dowry. That's how that works. If she goes off and goes crazy, the dowry is is collateral. Okay. You can have you can have our daughter. We know that women cannot be left to their own devices. So if she goes batshit crazy, the dowry now becomes yours. Got it. Yeah, it's okay. it's like a guarantee. It's like a it's but like a collateral. I think she's thinking that hey, I'll give you two goats and and four gallons no, of, of that's milk not, in order to buy your daughter. No, that's I not. I know it doesn't make any sense unless she's talking about human trafficking. No, but that's which, what no 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 stop talking. That's exactly what she's talking about. What she is having us believe is that. The way they do relationships overseas is through human trafficking. That's what she is trying to say. And it's absolutely fucking crazy. It's a- Just watch. Listen. Listen. Thing. Like, that's why you guys are all saying about Dubai. Like, they'll fly you out for blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, because that's how their places run. They pay money for these girls that don't know any better, that want to make go. some money. Here we go. No. Like, that's oh, called prostitution. Here we go. The reason why. Yeah, that's called. Right. What? It's called prostitution. Right. That's called prostitution. So she went from. So she went from relationships to forced arranged marriage to prostitution. And to she sex mailed trafficking. It to sex trafficking. Yeah. To, yeah. This to Instagram models. Can, yeah. This woman. And again, she's arguing. She's arguing for argument's sake. She has nothing. The reason why we I keep think mentioning. Some of them are arranged. Some marriages are arranged, but I don't think they get. Look they at my He's like. To marry a woman or unless. It's like an old ass man. I don't pay money to marry a woman. Yeah, I was about to say, (laughs) don't do that. Girl, but at the end of the day, like over there, over there, they can have multiple women. Yeah, Uh that's in their religion. I gotta buy one if I can have four. Uh Oh, uh oh. Did you have something Uh, you want to say? No, she basically said it. That's literally what I was trying to get at. They don't pay for women like that. They can literally have as many wives as possible, and they're gonna still take care of all their wives equally. in different houses and everything? Yeah, real talk. Paying for women. That's That's not paying for women. women. That's their wives. Here we go. That's their their culture. That's their religion. See, she keeps trying to characterize it as a woman being bought against her will that's what she that this they're paying for women she's being bought against her will this bitch or whatever is that's bucket. acceptable over there and they're all okay. ganging up on her they're well, like no nah, nah, bitch okay uh y'all the real has never paid for this before so online damn i wish i knew about fresh and fit three years ago i'm 31 is over now nah, you go bro there you go. um we got uh sexy bacon 20 bucks that's an interesting name thank you <laughs> <laughs> What's the cat bag? Listen, 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 listen. Your cats are forming a mutiny. To listen, listen. One is great. over. Now you go, bro. There you go. Um, we got uh, sexy bacon. Twenty bucks. Thank you. Uh, Twenty bucks, Jay Martin. Uh, you can head on down and start dinner. Yep. Okay. Feminist next to Myron. At this very moment, your cats are forming a mutiny to break out of your <laughs> apartment. Ah! <to> freedom. <laughs> <laughs> you have something you want to say? Stupid back to bitch. Huh? Two burgers. Uh, yeah, two burger patties with uh, cheddar okay. on both of them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What's the cat bag? Do you got cats? Huh? I have a cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> has a cat. If you get it, automatic. It's free already. It, it goes in and out. It does what it wants. Uh, you know, everything in my life is free God. to do whatever the fuck it wants. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Everything. Even my cat is free to do what the fuck it wants. Guess what? If your cat doesn't have fucking structure, your cat dies. Give me a break. Okay, fair enough. If you get automatic, defensive, or triggered by something, you need to investigate that trigger. Your trigger literally highlight what inside of you needs healing exploration. Okay. Uh, Wintrell upgraded to live stream replays plus chat. Appreciate that very much. Thank you for the support. Uh, to the blonde, you arguing about male preferences is like Uh-oh. a man arguing with you about women liking taller men. That's true. None of us are going to get mad at you guys for saying you want a guy that's six feet tall. That's exactly right. We might right. laugh at you, say that's rare, but we, right. we ain't going to knock you for it. Yo, uh, wait, wait. These girls have less trigger. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Dev is on her way down to, uh, yeah, she's on her way down to make dinner. So, yeah, yeah. So, there you go. So, yes. Thank you uh, very much, Dev. Appreciate it. Appreciate your help. Control than Alec Baldwin on camera. Oh, Yo, shit. The, the, oh, the, the chat is Jesus. saying the cat is tone deaf. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Uh, we got Mo Yassin, uh, 100 Saudi Arabian. Do- She's getting cooked in the chat. Mark LeBrant says she needs a therapist. Hell yeah. She, listen, listen. We're way past therapy at this point, guys. Like, therapy is not going to save this woman. She has, yes, Ice Dragon Kid says that lady is aggressive as a baseline. Bingo. Like, dude, listen, maybe she can seek therapy to help herself out, but dude, ain't nobody, dude, ain't nobody gonna deal with this. Ain't nobody dealing with this, man. 
Dollars, okay. FNF should be appreciated. We got the whole world watching. We got South Africa. Facts. I see Hell Canada. Yes. I see. Um, yeah, some euros in there. Yeah, euros. You Great know Britain. it. Yeah, yo, y'all fuck with us, bro. We got uh, over eight thousand people watching right now live. Neil Ray five dollars says if she goes bat shit crazy, she will be cut from an Indian family. Word will spread. She will be blacklisted. We don't put up with that at all. Hell no. no. FNF. Geeky Anomaly says she'd find a way to blame her therapist for her problems. <laughs> You guys on the sharp stream side, you guys are cracking me the fuck up with these with these goddamn with these fucking uh <laughs> with these uh, with these gifts. You guys are fucking it should be appreciated me. for the knowledge they be dropping. Y'all get hate from simps, close RP guys that act blue pill to deceive women. Hellfong says she needs a lobotomy. Dude, she needs something. And tell them what they want to hear. Ladies, these guys are giving y'all valuable game. Yeah, we're just giving you guys what men really honestly think. Yeah. This is for Myron's hair for teaching these three or fours and them not understanding basic concepts. That's for Mr. Amazing. Dr. Amazing. Boy, oh boy, hang in there, Myron. My hair is falling out, too. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm here. 25 bucks, Tom Chat. White girl in red needs to chill on the N-word. Oh, that was yeah, from earlier. Uh, 20 bucks, Sean Mason. Wait a minute. We ain't going to skip past. Yeah, the fact that uh, truck stop Ariana Grande says the N-word means what class? <laughs> she fucks niggas, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, man, just because her baby daddy is Cuban does not mean that she doesn't fuck with niggas. Like, I'm just trying to let y'all know. that The fact that dude was in high school, you want to be a provider in high school? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's oh, talking, talking about, about your ex-boyfriend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ultimate instigator, 20 bucks, thank you. And then See, she's like, okay, yeah, that's true. See, look, 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 look. They're like, they're talking about you. Watch her face. She's like, okay, yeah, they got me. Skip past that the fact that dude was in high school, you want to be a provider in high school? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's oh, talking, talking about, about your ex-boyfriend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ultimate instigator, 20 bucks, thank you. Yeah, she's and like, we got okay, 20 yeah, bucks well. from Real Ninja Association. Did this chick just say, fighting for your freedom? Y'all is free. Y'all ever going to be any more freedom and the world going to end? I LOL. swear to God. No, we don't get a hard on from dudes looking at our girl. That's weird. <clears throat> Rebuttal for that? The fuck? How, what do you mean? If the world gets more free, the world will end? No, he, he's, he's simply saying that oh women God. are more free now than ever before. No one's containing, constraining you. I Honestly, mean, we are more free than we've ever yeah. been. Yeah. Here we, we go. Are. We have a lot more, even more of an opinion to even express how we right. feel, how we dress, how there we talk. You go. We there you go. There you go. No, yeah. and honestly, we do, we do say, oh, it's sexist when men can say that as well. But yeah. Dre Raven on the Sharp Stream side said, who is angrier? Is it Red? Is it Guste? Wow. Red Guste or SS Karen? Wow. That is a very good question. Who is the angriest? Is it Red? Is it Guste? I think it's SS Karen. You want to know why? Because Red and Guste are still sexually attractive. This woman is no longer sexually attractive. For us, it's like, okay, yes, you're being sexist because we said it. Because it wouldn't be the same way for men if we did. You would like, laugh at a guy if he said you're yes. sexist. Yeah, like if you, you know, laugh at him. Like yeah. if a man does not open what the, the door for me getting sexist. in the car, I'm like, what the fuck? But it's like, okay, then why am I not opening the door for the man? Because I'm not supposed I'm not to. Exactly. There you go. I'm not supposed That's to. That's sexist. Uh, exactly. See, I mean, it looks ridiculous, right? Right. <laughs> but right. Yes. Then a man can tell me, "Wow, you're so sexist. You should be opening the door for me too." That's equal, ridiculous. Right? right. No. There you go. Bitch, <laughs> open my door. There you I'm, go. There you go. If I have to open my own door, I'm walking home. I've said it before. Reality tells you, like. Like, like the world wants to tell you, oh, men and women are the same. We're equal. But reality tells you we're, we're not, not equal. Yeah. Like, if you go out with a guy and he tells you, let's split the check, you're probably not going to. Yeah, vote in the comments. Uh, vote in the chat. Who is angrier, Guste, Red, or SS Karen? Hang out with that guy again on a first date. Let's be honest. Yeah, you're just not. And that's fine. But that's a biological instinct. You want a man who's a leader, a man that's going to make plans, a man that's going to. I mean, you should be like... able to show excess resources to take you out for a fun time, even if it's. There we cheap. go. It just. It, it's it's a whole it's it's a masculine thing to do mm -hmm. you know just like i don't want a girl that talks like this and acts like a dude and dresses and, like a dude cuts me off cuts yeah, me, cuts off, me off, off i'm not gonna want that right so you know men and women are very different we're attracted to different things there that's you okay. go i think it's kind of funny how we uh -oh, try to fresh as the glasses on sit here and conflate attraction you know unfortunately i i i, I here's the thing i said on this podcast before it sucks mm -hmm. That women are not appreciated for the income that they make, their success, etc. From a sexual standpoint. Listen to my cow. This is great. It sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because. But that's how it is, bruh. Yeah. Like, guys are, but women aren't. Like, women, it's like, if you're ugly, you're kind of fucked, bro, as a woman. As far as, like, finding a guy. You know what I'm saying? But a guy, you can be ugly. 
maybe learn some game, get in shape, get some money. You can still get some chicks. So it's the confidence also. Yep. Exactly. Man can be ugly yeah. with money and confidence. Oh yeah. my god, you sexy. Be my papi. You know? Yeah. But if you're a girl <laughs> and you make a lot of money, but you're ugly, bro. Timbo Slice says Guste. Guste is really angry. She is extremely angry. Oh well. Look at Oprah. No, use that money, get some <laughs> surgery done. Maybe you'll be pretty. Then. Oprah don't got a man. It proves my point no, even further that it looks matter though. I was go. like, Facts. what? Now, Oprah doesn't have a man and a woman. Oprah's got Stedman. Ain't nobody checking for Stedman. No, look, they oh no, my point. I I agree. Looks uh, definitely matters. Augustine Mark Helfong says Red was the worst of them all, to be honest. Yes, she was. Marquez. Myron, what's the chances we see you do the clown dance tonight? I did it earlier. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, don't date Myron, insecure and weak. Stop whining, be better man, not controlling, not beta, holding women back. Okay. Uh, and then we got Sean Mason. Some women put themselves in precarious situations and expect their man to come save them. Dominant men will there say, you, you want to do what I recognize as precarious? Do it alone. Speaking about going out and debate. Yeah. Yeah, man. Guys, guys can have options too. There we go. Uh, David La Lazaro, 20 bucks. Thank you so much. And then we got uh, Charles. All the way from South Africa. Keep doing the good work, FNF. Educating men and women for a better future. We have a lot of women surprising them. Yeah, Qatar. Yeah, there you go. And she don't even know it. It's the ugly. Okay. Snicker, bro. Oh, wow. I mean, I probably get more guys than you get girls. Oh, here we go. And she don't even know it. Greg Romero. Car. Is that Qatar? Yeah, Qatar. You know, it's been a while, but I'm out here grinding. But uh, Dr. Dre, 100 M's down for getting married. Yeah, there you go, guys. There's an example of a divorce gone wrong. There you right go. Million. There you go. Andrew oh, Cardini, God, 100 yes. bucks. Yo, Blondie getting destroyed, and she don't even know it. LOL, I don't know, get why Blondie has such a problem with men having standards. But it is what it is. It's always the ugly. Okay. Snicker, bro. Oh, it's the ugly, shit. The ugly biatch that got the most to say, SMH, LMAO. You guys want to say back to him? And that is facts. I mean, I probably get more guys than you get girls. And I can get girls, too, so I don't really care. Sure you do. Of course you care. That's why you got a fucking attitude. And the fact that you can get more guys and girls than that dude proves Myron's point even further. It proves his point even further. Women live life on easy mode. And I'm not here to complain about it. I'm not here to complain about that. Women live life on easy mode because they're not capable of not living life on easy mode. But when you try to shame men for having standards, that's where guy that that's that's where you drew the line. A uh, bink, the baddest eye, five dollars, says SS Karen will be blowing steam like Majin Boo if she could. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, keep chilling. Right. Twenty dollars, plant. Okay. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> for three years, found RP. I don't know, but remember from the very beginning, he never set those standards or boundaries. So now to enforce those boundaries is like nah. There he is. Too late now, bro. Is there it is. Trying to teach an old dog new tricks yeah like you can't, you can't. Like, uh geeky anomaly geeky anomaly says uh i'm starting to crush on truck stop ariana grande don help i'm losing frame you're not losing frame man it's just that she has listen truck stop ariana grande she has qualities that a lot of us like she's young she's beautiful she is I, uh, dude the tattoos are an absolute that's a disqualification but like honestly Truck stop Ariana Grande. Truck stop Ariana Grande would need to be. Uh, she would need to be handled. If you guys are a patron of mine, or if you are on Sharp Stream, look up, look up, epic rant. Look up my epic rant. Look up my epic rant. That is how truck stop Ariana Grande would need to be handled. Scrotum Seabum, eight nine three two dollars says, bro, she looks like a frog on that freeze frame. <laughs> Black Lemur 2009 says, she's a baby mama though. Yeah, dude. Geeky Anomaly says, when she said poppy, that's my password, man. Yeah, like, ooh, be my poppy. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Fantastic episode, guys. Almost three and a half hours long. Almost three and a half hours long. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow at noon. Uh, I'm sorry. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, I will be joined. I will be joined by Janelle Gordon, where we will talk about, uh, we are going to break down and discuss part one uh, of the Kevin Samuels uh, seven part uh, the uh, 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 the seven part Miami interview that he conducted, I think with four lovely ladies, uh, Janelle Gordon and I are going to uh, we are going to break that down, 
Uh, and then on Wednesday, Wednesday, that will be the debut episode of TSR Live with Donovan and Devin. With Donovan and Devin, Devin will be on camera. Uh, this will be a very interactive uh, type podcast, uh, much like this. Only, only difference is that Devin will be live on camera for all the world to see. And uh, I think that's going to prove to be uh, a, a very good, uh, very, very good move. So looking forward to uh, to all of that. Uh, I don't know where I went. Hang on a second. Hang on, guys. There we go. All right, there we are. Let me, uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, Ice Dragon Kid says stay away from the Puerto Ricans, geeky. Dude, Puerto Rican girls, woof. They will make a man out of you. That's going to do it for this edition of TSR Live. Thank you guys very, very much uh, for tuning in today. Thank you to all of my super chatters, all of my new members. Um, I really, really appreciate your support. I am looking forward to a very successful 2022. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Understanding women and increasing your dating success starts with Donovan Sharp's massive collection of award-winning books and courses. Get off to a fast start and jumpstart your masculine renaissance with the 49 Laws of Sharp. The 49 Laws of Sharp is the perfect quick start guide for any man new to this community looking for the answers that keep them up at night after a bad experience with a woman. So many men ask themselves, why did she cheat? How could I not see this coming? Why did I miss the signs? And how can I avoid this in the future? The 49 Laws of Sharp will answer these questions and many more. This will give you a rock solid foundation upon which to build, develop, and cultivate your newfound identity and put you miles ahead of your competition. Most men have never had access to this valuable information, let alone understand and apply it. But the 49 Laws of Sharp will give you an unfair advantage over men and women. This treasure trove of valuable knowledge is available in audio, video, ebook, and paperback. Next, supplement your newly acquired foundational knowledge, supercharge your dating life with Donovan's 25 hour course, How to Master the Game. How to Master the Game will teach you the ins and outs of the player life, overcoming approach anxiety, identifying women who you want to approach, text game, first date principles and logistics, avoiding the friend zone, and so much more will be covered extensively. Also included are the bonus podcasts that will cover how to dress, Tinder game, and much more. Put simply, How to Master the Game will turn you into a stone-cold assassin with the ladies. Available in video and audio format. If you're not the kind of guy who wants to live the bachelor life, or you've had your fill of the player life and are looking for something a little more fulfilling, How to Build a Quality Woman from the Ground Up is a must. Donovan's five-part, seven-hour audio course will show you step-by-step -step how to find, cultivate, and sustain a solid, healthy relationship. Everything from selecting the right woman, to coaching and correction, to what to do between the sheets. How to build a quality woman from the ground up will guide you through the entire process of building the kind of woman you want and need. The strategies and techniques in this course are exactly what Donovan does in his own relationship to this day. And he is living proof that women can be beneficial to men provided they have the right instruction. And finally, the ultimate weapon all men are looking for in terms of being able to read and understand women, Donovan Sharp's revolutionary one-of-a-kind course that has been called the cheat code. Womanese. 
Woman Ease is the first and only course of its kind that gives men the raw and honest truth about what women really mean when they communicate verbally. Women Ease translates female communication with shocking accuracy and has changed the dating lives and relationships of men the world over. So many men have avoided disaster because of the preciseness and sheer volume of material in this course, which contains over 600 translations. How cool would it be to be able to see through a woman's BS and act accordingly right then and there, rather than getting blindsided when it's too late? What would it be like to have the ability to read a woman like a book based only on what she says? These abilities will be at your disposal with womanese. Women won't be able to lie to you, cheat on you, deceive you, or take advantage of you. The time and money you'll save pays for the course almost immediately. Womanese is available in video, audio, ebook, and paperback format, and can be purchased one volume at a time or all at once. Men in his community often state that the best investment a man can make is in himself. Donovan's extensive educational materials will take your life to the next level. And the only place you can get this life-changing knowledge is tsracademy.com. Link in description.